Well, hey, everybody. How y'all doing? How's everybody doing on this Thursday? It, hopefully it is Thursday. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. Let me look at my phone. Yeah, it's Thursday. Whew. How's everybody doing on this Thursday evening? Let's see who we got so I can say hi to everybody. Hi, Kez Chick. Hello, Heather, whatever. Hello, Max. Hello, Cement Shoes. Hello, Tony. Hey, Dave G. Hey, Molson Man. Allie 79. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Callie. How you doing? I think I got everybody. Yes, I think so. Yes, yes, yes. I think I got everybody. Oh, sheep. You guys are not sheep. You guys are like lions. Oh, I'm so, I'm already tired. Okay. So, you know, like yesterday how I bailed? Well, I bailed because I was talking to my uh, oldest daughter and she was telling me, she's like, mom, you gotta um, go on, you gotta put your true crime stuff on TikTok. People will love it. And I was like, yeah, but TikTok is uh, like quick. And she's like, well, let me see what, what videos you've made, right? So I sent her the opening to um, remember uh, the, the return to Watts Island I did. Okay, so I sent her that video. And then I was like, just look at the rest on my uh, channel, okay? Because she subscribed. So I said, go look at them. She said, well, mom, you got to have all of your openings at that quality. So I was like, okay. So I thought, well, I'll start working on the West Memphis 3 one. <sighs> 75 Awales Laytail, and it's still not done. So I wanted to show you guys. I was hoping I would be done by tonight, but you know how I roll. I get frustrated, then I got to walk away for a little bit, then I come back to it, and then um, I, uh, hang on a sec, okay, <clears throat> and then I come back to it, and then I had another idea, so then I had to switch everything up, so anyways, long story short, it's not freaking done, and I am here. Hi, Sam. So. It's hard to um, see the Watts Island one. I already had the music in mind. Okay. So that was easier in a way because then I just put the images with the music. But this way I'm having to do it a little bit backwards because... I can't, I'm not, I don't want, okay. I, the, I have an actual song that I'd really rather use for, um, the opening, but I want to use it on YouTube and I, Hey Momo. And I want to use it on TikTok. Well, TikTok isn't as strict about music that you can use, but the YouTubes are. So there we go. So then I, now I'm working. So then I was working, uh, backwards. It's too much for me. I don't know. Sometimes I'm more creative than others, but it's actually looking really good. Now I'm just doing the like finishing touches. So that's what I wanted to show you guys tonight, but I couldn't. So I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about a couple of things. So let's just get it out there. I saw the video. And um, I don't know, I guess it was what it was. We heard the audio and now we had a visual. So I maybe felt one, mm, I might have softened like 8% towards NK, but that was short lived because then she spoke. And I remembered how much I dislike her. So I just didn't learn anything. Um, yeah, Tony, um, I've got to get with Dr. B because how can we not? We must roast this. So, <laughs> Callie. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, we're going to roast it. I just, um, if, yeah, Wilson, man, we're not going to, that's all I'm going to say about that because I know some of us are, are further into their uh, recovery from Watts Island than other people. And so I want to be sensitive to that. And, but yes, we must roast that. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about or talk to you a little bit about was the um, Orin and Orson West. So I knew that they um, arrested the adoptive parents. <clears throat> and I heard uh, what was in the indictment. So... I was saddened. I was sad that they were unalive three months before they were reported missing. I was sad that I, when I learned that um, they had others participate, likely the, the other children in the home. The whole thing is just such a sad sad story. It's awful. And the fact that they haven't found them yet, that is very sad to me. The other thing that I am a little curious about because, um, you know, the indictment is the indictment and they, you know, the allegations, they make the allegations, yada, 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 right? Okay. We all know how that works. So what I was shocked about though, was the degree I was shocked that it was second degree murder, not first. So I'm wondering what more details are going to come out at some point in order for them to have charged them with second degree murder. So I just, it's awful about those boys. And, you know, that's, um, I'm glad that you brought that up, Kelly. Because there's been a lot of talk about CPS throughout, I mean, forever, really, if you think about it, but really recently, um, like with the Summer Wells case and um, other, there's been other cases too. And what I think about that is that, yes, CPS is fundamentally a very broken system. You have a lot of um, caseworkers who are overwhelmed and underpaid. Um, and then you have people who use CPS as a weapon, which takes up resources. And I think that the better, in my opinion, I think the only way to effect uh, change in the system with CPS is they definitely need more funding. And that's just the truth. And Hello, taxpayers. I'm talking to you, all you all you guys in here. We're all taxpayers. And so I think that, you know, if, if anybody really wanted to affect real change, long-term change, the best, you know, thing to do would be to um, put more money into CPS so that they could hire more social workers so that they could pay social workers better wages and have more resources to help children so that children don't fall through the cracks as often as they are. It seems like I know that the news or the media, I should say, typically focuses on the worst case scenarios, the non-happy endings. And so it, but I, I don't think that the I don't think it's all that disproportionate, to be quite honest with you. I think that the system is fundamentally broken, and the only way to fix it is we need to put money into the system. So I would, um, you know, I would encourage everybody, you know, to write their local uh, representatives and encourage them to put something on the ballot so that they can cap so that CPS can have more money. That's the only way I can see that change is going to be affected. I don't see that standing in front of CPS with a bullhorn screaming obscenities, non-obscenities, ramblings, whatever it is. It doesn't even matter. 
bottom line is protesting out in front of CPS is not going to affect change. It's just not. And that's the truth because the, the money is not there. Also, I'm off my soapbox now. I wanted to ask you guys if you had noticed anything new about the channel, perhaps. If you know if you notice anything new. Hey Amelia. I don't know if I said hi to you. Hi, Team Psych Ward. I don't know if now I'm all discom. Yes, I new cement shoes. Oops, it's all new. I um hold on, I can't remember. I, I already lost it. Here it is. Um, I changed all the things. I changed the avatar, I changed the channel art. And let me tell you something. Hey, Vincent's missing ear. If you don't know how to do something on YouTube, ask YouTube. There's a video for it. It took me a minute to understand the video because I was like, mm. but um, yeah, it took me, I, it took me a couple of tries because I don't even know why <laughs> thank you amelia because i i wasn't i i don't know it just took me a minute and i was like oh when i when it finally clicked what i needed to do i felt so i felt so dumb and so empowered at the same time <laughs> it was kind of yeah it's one of those things yeah i it was it was time for change you know i really loved the old channel art, Dr. B and I did it together. And, um, but you know, I've, I've matured in the, in, in the graphics. I've learned some things and I wanted to, I wanted the channel art to reflect that, that I'm growing as a creator. Okay. But uh, and as far as growing goes, I, I know, I don't know what, if, you know, who all in here is religious, not religious. And this really has nothing to do with that. I'm not trying to convert anybody. Let me just say that. But um, I decided as a Catholic, <clears throat> no, you're right, Kelly, it doesn't. It absolutely doesn't. And you're absolutely right about this as well. So uh, yesterday was the first day of Lent. Okay. And as you know, I'm a Catholic. And, um, no, that's well, I'll get to you in just a second, Vincent's missing ear. All right. So, um, I decided that I was going to give up sweet tea and Pepsi for Lent and just drink water. I'm on day two and, um, I, it's not that bad. It's a little bit difficult because, Mainly, I have to go potty a lot. Water makes you have to go tinkle a lot. Sorry if that's too too much information for you guys. I can't imagine that it would be because we talk about the most horrific things in here. This is not that horrific. Okay. So, yeah, Vincent's missing here. That part is easy to change the avatar. Okay. But when you have, when you want to do the banner, you have to make the banner the right size. Otherwise it won't show. And, um, no, no, I'm not going to start talking about ghosts. I promise. <laughs> I'm going to behave. No, no. But, um, well, cement shoes, this is the deal. I have my five hour energy and my coffee in the morning. And then that's it. That's all the coffee caffeine I need. Oh, thank you, Allie. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. I promise I'm not talking about ghosts. No ghosts, just Lent. <laughs> so yeah, 40 days. So this is what I was thinking. If I give up the sweet tea and the Pepsi, which I don't drink Pepsi that as much as I drink the sweet tea, but I make the sweet tea with real sugar. I feel like I could drop maybe 10 pounds from just drinking water. I don't know. We'll see. But then here comes the husband. 
I tell them all about, hey, I'm giving up this, that, you know, I'm giving up the, the Pepsi. I'm giving up the sweet tea for the Lent. I'm just going to drink the water. What does he bring home? Delicious donuts. You all will be very proud of me because I saw the donuts on the counter and I said, not today, Satin, and I kept right on walking. I know you will, Sam. And we are going to, we're going to, um, I, I don't, somebody please remind me to email Mexi. I said I was going to email him and then 87 years later, and I still haven't, uh, yeah. I still have an email. I got to email so we can do. Yeah. I walked right past those evil donuts. I said, not today, Satin. Not today. So, so Lent is, yeah, it's 40 days. Um, technically Lent, I learned this the other day. I, when I was heading up the, uh, Googles. Okay. Cause I wanted to see when Lent was. Also, I feel like I've, look, I'm 45 years old, okay? And time is getting away from me and I need to start getting stuff like all the things right, all right? And I got to quit being so much of a heathen. So I feel like at least for Lent, I can, for 40 days, I can be less heathenish, right? I think. So Lent, uh, it, technically Lent is 47 days, but the Sundays don't count. Isn't that weird? I didn't know that. Sundays don't count in Lent. So anyway, that's my plan. So hopefully by the time it's really time for summer, right, I won't have um, tight pumps. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So um, what else was I going to tell you guys? Oh, Shmita gave me some news today um, and she sent me an article, but whenever I click the article, it didn't work. And um, I, <laughs> but bottom line is, you know, uh, Gypsy Rose Blanchard was uh, granted parole. Yep. So I think if I remember the deal correctly, her parole hearing would have been last at the end of last year in 2021. And I believe that sh she will get paroled in 2023 because that's 80% of the 10 years that she was required to do. So if she'd have done the full 10, she would have been out in 2025. So yeah. Which I guess uh, parole is better than her having served the whole time because at least on parole, she will be um, required to um, uh, check in. She'll have like rules and stuff like that. So I feel like that's probably a good thing. At least she'll be monitored. And because the last thing that I had heard was that. Um, Dr. Phil had, uh, you know, she did the Dr. Phil show and, um, that, uh, she, um, didn't, she wasn't interested in any aftercare or therapy. Same Allie. I have mixed feelings on her. Well, I recognize that she was definitely a victim of some things. She was also a perpetrator of things as well. And the fact that her attitude towards therapy is, I mean, look, she has been offered it. Be, well, I can understand her being resistant to, to, to therapy inside the prison. I get it. Okay. But like Dr. Phil was willing to help her. And so therefore I feel like he would have gotten her probably the best help, the best kind of help that she needed really for her to come around to like what she, you know, being a better person and whatnot. So, and accepting all the things, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, I feel like it's a little, I'm a little, I'm not going to lie. It is a little, uh, scary that, uh, she doesn't, uh, want 
or think she needs uh, therapy. And that's just the way that it is. It's, I mean, it's scary to me. So uh, yeah, she got paroled. Hold on a second. I don't know what I just did. I don't know if this is the one I wanted to watch. Hold on. Let me, let me sc scroll through this real quick. I don't think this is the right one. Oh, maybe it is. Hold on. Sorry, you guys. I'm still way discombobulated today. I don't know what's going on with me. Probably not enough sweet tea. Oh, let me see if I can make it. Uh, I'll give you the overlay so I can show you guys. Uh, hold on. So it'll be bigger for you guys. Um, that's another thing. I downloaded so much stuff for this. Uh, oh, hold on. That's not what I wanted. No, that's not what I want either. There. Um, I downloaded so much for this. Uh, video that now all my uh, stuff is all discombobulated. That's how I, that's the new picture. So, yes, yes, yes. Hey, Renee New, how you doing? How's, okay. Hold on just a second. Give me just a second. I don't like when people do this. It's so rude, but I have to answer this. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, I think I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm quite proud of it. I thought I did well. All right. So, okay. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you guys. All right. So the other thing I was thinking is, you know how uh, sometimes I pick stuff for us to watch as far as the trial goes, right? But that means I leave parts out. So what I was thinking of is rather than doing the testimony, one, like, one person or two people or whatever testimony at a time, right? And then just giving you an overview of the other people that testified that day. What if I um, did like a compilation video of the best parts of the testimony for that night, each, you know, each night and did it like that instead of the way I've been doing it. And then if you guys, hi, I've learned a lot. And then if you guys want to um, watch each piece in its entirety, each or each testimony, person that testifies in its entirety, I have the, um, I have Mo's um, channel link in all of, in the descriptions of all of the lives. So I was thinking maybe that would be a better way to do it. And like we could, I could like, you know, put together, you know, a compilation, nothing more than like an hour or so long, right? With like an intermission in the middle for everybody where we could talk and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about doing. Oh, I used to know their names. It's, um, Hold on. It's like Wal Waldorf. Hold on a second. I'll tell you what it is. Cement shoes. Like I, Waldorf and I can't remember the other name. Statler and Waldorf. That's who it is. That's who their names are. So... I did. I hit up the Googles. No, Sat Statler and Waldorf. That's their names. They're one. They're my favorites. 
Also, I liked Beaker too because Beaker and Professor Honeydew because, you know, Beaker never said anything, but he was really expressive if you think about it. Just he had the downturned face, or the, you know, the smile was downturned and, and even his eyes looked worried, you know, and then he had the, um, the hair. The other one that's my favorite is the chef. I like the Swedish chef. Oh, he was, he was one of my favorites. Ah, yes, ma'am, I can. Let me, um, please to hold. Um, let me see. What am I doing? Oh, the link. I don't, here we go. Yeah, you see how discombobulated I am? I've been live for 30 minutes and haven't really told you guys anything about any... Well, I guess I have a little bit. I guess I... I guess I just didn't see what all the fuss about that video... I mean, I understand it. I do. But then at the same time, I don't. I mean, I was going to watch it no matter what, and that's just the way it is. I, I said I wasn't going to, and I and then I did, and then I stopped, and then I had a weak moment, and I did again. So, it was what it was. Let me put it here for you. All right, there's that, and I will... uh. Go ahead and pin that because, oh, that's not, why won't you let me pin? There we go. Okay. So I didn't want to watch, uh, like, I don't want somebody else to tell me what was on there. I wanted to watch it, but I got to like. I had to break it up. I watched a little and then I stopped. Well, okay, we could talk about this. See, this is this this is something that on the surface, the way that this would go is whenever there is a case like this, okay? Oh, thank you, Callie. Welcome to the full club. So, okay. In, in situations like this, what, what happens is the investigation is conducted. The investigation of what happened of, of a crime is what comprises the discovery. It is not just what the prosecution is going to, is intending to use to get, get a arrest warrant, okay? It's the totality of the investigation. Every witness, every potential suspect, every item that was collected, the, t the testing, et cetera, et cetera. It is the entirety of the case file. It's called discovery because the prosecution well, no, that's not right. The Let me explain it this way. The defense team would motion to have items released under discovery. So all of the entire case file would be sent to the defense team. Typically, it doesn't get sent all at once. It goes in pieces, yada, 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 right? Okay. So then we'll just pretend that they had all they were done with the they were completely done investigating this case all of the tests had been done everything uh, had been looked into as far as the uh phones just all the things right which to be fair i mean the 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 <clears throat> the plea bargain stopped all of that okay but it doesn't stop the rest of the process. Okay. So all of the investigative material that the prosecution has, 
then goes to the judge and the prosecutor, and they decide what items will be available for the public to look at. And they deem it, they deem each item, whether it is, whether it serves the public, the public's interest or not. Okay. And it's their discretion. Obviously things like, um, you know, autopsy photos, stuff like that. I mean, that's obviously that, you know, the, nobody needs to see those really. Um, but so those make sense, but it also makes sense that good evening, nonstop mom. It also makes sense that, um, some, you know, that things might fall through the cracks. Okay. Or it could make sense. And this is kind of what I suspect has happened. I suspect initially they deemed the, the video of, um, this interview not to be in the public's best interest, not because of NK, because hello, her other um, interviews are in there, but I think it had more to do with the fact that her dad was in there and maybe to protect his privacy. It's the only thing that I can think of, but for whatever reason, they decided it wasn't going to be in the public's best interest. Well, the public, that's us, we have the right to say, okay, well, we get that you, you don't feel it's in the public's best interest, but we disagree and petition the court, which is what happened. So when that happens, okay, the, the interview, uh, cement shoes, um, between, uh, and, and K, but the one where her dad was present. Okay. They could have Vincent's missing here. There's a lot of things they could have done, but they didn't do it. And this is, I, I, you know, it is what it is. We got it. We can't work with what would have, should have, could have, we got to work with what is right. Okay. So. Then they decide, okay, crap, this might go to the, uh, it, it could, could work its way through the system. And it's likely that it would be deemed that it is in the public's best interest to see it. Okay. So then what happens in that situation is whoever the family of the victims are, in a case like this, or you know what I'm saying, they're the ones that would get the video first. Okay. They would really, they would, sh they would give it to them and let them see it because that's the way that it goes. And then after that, they will put it in the official FOIA, part of the FOIA request. So when you give, when you request the documents pertaining to this case under FOIA, this is now an, a, an additional item that you would get under that FOIA request. That's what, all that, that's it. So, I mean, I don't know why, listen, I don't know why they did what they did, why they didn't decide to put it in. I, I'm not uh, D.A. Rourke, and I'm, I, I didn't make the uh, decision, but for whatever reason, that's what they decided. And at the end of the day, it is what it is. And um, so they gave it to the family first. The family said they were going to show it and they showed it. So, you know, I'll say this though. Um, it, I think nowadays, we're so used to seeing audio and video together that it, it was a little discombobulating to only have audio and no video of what was going on, right? Because we knew that it, that it was recorded, both the audio and the video. So I feel like um, just seeing it, I suppose, but it's not like I learned anything. There was no great epiphany or anything like that. I don't think from it. So 
I, I yeah. Well, I don't know why I'm being quiet. I'm reading. Um, yeah. And I think, I think that body language is important. Um, but I, I think that, um, you know, humans are social creatures and, and we're sort of, we're just used to seeing people's faces and that's, you know, how we take our social cues by, you know, verbal and nonverbal cues. And so I think that, you know, it was interesting to have seen it. Um, and I agree with you, Allie, I do. I think that, I think that there was disadvantages to holding it back because I think that people just generally speaking tend to be skeptical. Like, well, how come we can't see it? Do you know what I mean? Is there something there that's super juicy, you know, cause human beings are curious by nature and we want to know all the things. And, um, you know, so I think, I think, by not showing it, it hyped it up to be more than what it ended up being. Do you know what I mean? Once we finally saw it, it was like, uh, you know, that's, I mean, I just don't even, um, I, I, I mean, I watched it. It is what it is. It was what it was. I, I don't have any feelings really, but I have to, I have to, to say this before I say that I don't have any feelings. I was never as invested in the Watts case as a lot of you guys were. I came very, very late to it. I don't think that I came to the island until, oh, like the fall of 2020. So, yeah, I and I and I have to admit, too, that the real reason that I was interested in the case more than anything was because of this 35C. I read up on a 35C. I looked at it. I looked again. I looked many, many times. And I am always one to find a loophole. But I just could not find any way for him to have been granted a 35C. So I was like, never, you know, <laughs> Molson man. Yeah. I'm just like, mm. I was never, I, I, I wasn't along for the ride the way that you guys were from the beginning. I wasn't around, um, like that in 2018. So, you know, I can understand why everybody was, was, uh, you know, excited about it. So <clears throat> I think that this is what I think about her dad being there. I think that it was done as a courtesy to NK. Okay. I think that they were not going to get anything more out of CW and that's the truth. And I think that they were wanted they were very interested in talking to NK first and foremost because obviously they have to rule her out, right? So they talk so of course they talk to her. But at, while they're interviewing her, they at that point they don't really know if she is a witness or a victim or something else. They don't know her status. So in order for, to, and they, and they wanted to hear what she had to say. And I feel like the only way she would go in there and say what she had to say was if they let her dad in there. And that's what they did. They did it as a courtesy because they wanted to hear what she said, what she had to say. Now, this is the part I feel bad for. I cannot imagine listening 
to her repeat the things that Chris Watts told her about Shanann being her, you know, being a family or a friend of hers. I would be seething with anger. I would be livid that he had the nerve, the audacity, the unmitigated gall to speak about her the way that he did. I would be, I would be angry. I will say that, um, I guess it's, you know, the one area he didn't talk negatively about her was her mothering. Great. I mean, I, I just, he's a, He's right where he belongs. He's a POS and he's exactly where he belongs. Truth be told, he belongs in big boy prison, not training wheel prison. But that's just me. Okay. I feel like... I feel like we should, um, you know, move on from that because I just... We've all been away from the island, some of us longer, some of us stay have stayed away longer, and um, I don't want to go back, and I can feel myself slipping, and I don't want to do it, and I don't want to bring anybody with me. So, tonight, we're going to watch, um, oh, I can't. The former Sergeant Todd, I think his last name is Kurtzels. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I'm going to just be real honest with you guys. I worked on this video all day and I really did not. Uh, I don't know what this is going to be about, to be quite frank with you. I don't know what this uh, former uh, Sergeant is going to talk about, but he was involved in the investigation in some capacity. And I did scroll through it and it looks like there's pictures. I think there are pictures of... To me, it, it looks like somebody's house. So um, that is <laughs> what we're going to be uh, watching tonight. And then um, I don't know if anybody ever answered me because the chat was moving a little, not super quick, but then I got on a tangent and then I stopped looking because then I get distracted. But what I wanted to ask you guys is about the um, idea of me making a video where I just take the best parts of the testimony and make a video out of that, like about an hour long with maybe, you know, you know, like, the, like about an hour long where we just listen to it. You know what I mean? What do you guys think about that? And then just, uh, and then just do it like that. Otherwise, and then if you want to, if there's like some specific testimony, you want to go back and watch over, then I'll obviously the link. I always have, thank you, Amy. I was worried about you. I'm so glad to see you back. Thank you so much. Um. Anyway, that's what we'll do. It's not that much work to uh, clip. It's really not. Putting together like a video to show a concept is much more difficult. This way is actually clipping a video is e is the easiest. I was worried about you, Amy. I was thinking, why do I hope she comes back? We thought we hurt your feelings because Shmita accidentally, uh, um, you know, timed you out. But you missed it, Amy. The other night, I timed out the whole chat. Everybody but like two people. No, I, I'm okay. Uh, let me, let me be, uh, let me be clear about this. The two people that I think we should listen to every single syllable, every word that they say is Ezra and Jason. Those I will not uh, mash together or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to not them. 
everybody else, I will like get the highlights of it, you know, and then play it like that. Yeah, Amy, it was <laughs> Max. It was, it was, <laughs> I cannot believe <laughs> that I timed out 80, like 80% 80 of the chat. I think three people missed the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the great timeout of 2022. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. That's what I'll do. Uh, and I'll work on that tomorrow. I'm almost finished with this video. After I get off of here tonight, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll play it. Um, or else well, it's like to almost 10 o'clock and this is. How long is this? This is an hour and four minutes long. What if we just uh, maybe had an op open panel? You guys want to do that? And we just uh, kick it tonight? We just chat about cases and stuff that's, uh, you know, going on legally. Like, no drama, none of that stuff, obviously. But, you know, um, just... You want to just do that or do you guys, or maybe I can find a uh, shorter one for us to watch. Hold on a second. Let me look. Um, we could talk, we could listen to the, uh, fingerprint and footprint expert she's only like 20 minutes yeah because where we're at we don't have that much to go before we're at um momo's personal favorite ezra's adoptive father that i must play what do you guys want to do it's up to you guys what we do well, I'll tell you what, I'll just drop the link and, uh, we can, uh, we'll just do a chill night tonight. Just talk about whatever. Cause there was something else I wanted to tell you guys, but we can talk about, uh, Scott Peterson. We can talk about him right now. Molson, man, I dropped the link. You want to come up? You guys don't have to come up. You know, I can just talk. Look, I can talk to a wall. Let's be honest. You guys have met me. Sometimes I just ramble about nothing for no reason. <laughs> I would love to talk about uh, Scott Peterson, Molson Man. So if you want to come up or you got some questions or, you know, stuff, some idea of what you want to talk about because... Um, our, uh, Ali 79 has been doing, oh yeah. Strawberry shortcake. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So she, <clears throat> I'm so, um, I'm kind of like bummed because I wanted to be able to play at least some of the audio where we could talk about it. Cause hello, this is a huge case, right? But, um, hi, Anita. Well, everybody seems to want me to roast this new, uh, this new, uh, NK thing, but I feel like, um, I need to do a roast soon. We need some levity at the ward faux show, faux show. Um, I kind of want to do, uh, I do want to do uh, Luca Magnata because so many people have asked that, asked about that. And I want to, I kind of want to cover um, him. Um, and there's an, a couple of other ones that I've been thinking of, but of course, now that you're asking me, their names have escaped to me. Um, 
So yeah, we do need to do a new roast for sure. Um, but you do not talk too much, Molson Man. We have the best conversation. I'm putting the link in one more time, Molson Man, and now I'm not even asking you. Now you have to come up. That's that. Oh, we will definitely have Dr. B in the roast. I don't I don't roast without my other half and she is my other half. So I I will never do a roast without of her. Um you know what I mean? She's my <laughs> she's my other half and I I couldn't I could never do a roast without her. It's like our thing. Come on, Molson man, get up here. You can even keep your shirt on. Hey, a curious rose. You better click this link, Molson man. Um. So, I, th I know that Scott Peterson was on death death row, obviously, right? But, but I, 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 I feel like, um. I don't know about California. I kind of think this is how it works everywhere, though. So in I know in Texas, you're in a single cell. I know in Arkansas, you're in a single cell. So it's not technically solitary confinement where you have, um, like, you can't see or hear anybody else, right? It's But you are alone in a very small cell. Um, like 23 hours of the day. I think you get out an hour each day. And I think they alternate it between rec time, which I know in Arkansas, it is basically another cell. And it's just a little bit bigger. Um, and then, um, so yeah. Oh man, well, well, uh, Team Psych Ward, whenever you remember, let me know. Yeah, you can get about four to six minutes hair and makeup if you need to, or just don't put your camera on, maniac. Why do you think I don't have my camera on? Because I ain't camera ready. So, um, yeah, I feel like uh, that's the way that it is. And I did see, now I will say this. He, he, he has definitely aged, but his hair is a lot more healthy and, dare I say, poofy, voluminous than it was prior. I feel like, um, I mean, look, the de I mean, he's on death row. How fun can it be? You know what I'm saying? Like, but his hair looks good, I guess. I just want to know what's going to, what the outcome of this is going to be because, um, I keep forgetting to check the link for the audio because I be getting distracted and that's just the truth. Okay. So I've missed a couple of days. I only know about, fr I only listened on Friday, but, um, so more than a couple of days because we're already on Thursday. Um, but yeah, I, Alley, <laughs> but um, I feel like she was so um, what's the word? Contentious, maybe, um, adversarial in her testimony, which I thought was interesting, and I I caught at the very beginning, and then I forgot to go back and uh, like look it up and pay attention more. But, um, I thought that at the very beginning, they talked about immunity, which is interesting because hello, when you fill out a jury form, it is under penalty of perjury. You can't be lying. Okay. And, uh, oh my gosh, here we go. Let me drop that link again. All right, here we go. Um, but yeah, um, I forgot what I was saying. 
Oh, yes. Um, immunity, which <clears throat> I don't know what kind of uh, penalty perjury carries. I don't think, I don't imagine it's like super long. I've been seeing this and something came across my, um, my, uh, is it Twitter? I think the other day about that. And I, let me, let me head up the, the Google Ace. Um, Let me make sure I have the name right. Yep. Holy. Let me read this. For you guys who don't know, let me see where it is. Where That's not what I wanted. Hmm. All right, let's see. I guess this will work. Oh my God, I don't want an ad. So, exclusive. She's a monster. Family of man, 24, hit out at married woman accused of choking him to death with chain during drug fueled sex, carving up his body and leaving his head in a bucket for his mother to find. Wow. That's terrible. Wow. It gets a little deeper. We're not going to talk about that though. Yikes on bikes. What's going on in Wisconsin? Is Wisconsin trying to compete for Colorado? Is that what's happening? Yikes on bikes. Holy moly. Wow. Yes, nonstop mom. Oh, that's right. That they, I forgot about that. That they no longer have, uh, well, let me be honest. The truth of the matter is they probably should have done away with it. Just listen, here's how it works. When you get capital, when you're charged and you get capital punishment, or when you not charged, when you are found guilty and you're sentenced to capital punishment, you get automatic appeals. All right. California is the one of, or pro, if not the slowest state when it comes to the appeals process. So you are far more likely to pass away from old age or disease on death row in California than you ever are to have uh, your, your sentence imposed. And that's the truth. And automatic appeals, who do you think pays for those automatic appeals? The state, the taxpayers pay for the automatic appeals. So it's a, it costs a lot of money and nobody, I mean, it takes forever to get through the system anyways. So this might be actually, you know, better in a way for California. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what is going on in Wisconsin, but like, so many. Well, I mean, here's the deal. Like, it's not that, you, you know, you'll get caught, you'll get tried. And if you're guilty, you'll be convicted. Right. But the truth of the matter is, um, you're not likely to have your, your sentence imposed unless, unless you waive your, your right to your appeals. But 
even then, um, that's a process too, because they have to determine then if you are of sound mind to waive your appeals. But, you know, I highly doubt that that escalates things any quicker. You know what I mean? So. Exactly. Sorry, I didn't mean to yawn in you guys' ear. That's exactly what will happen. That's exactly what will happen. So. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm curious what's going to come of this situation. And I'm waiting for Molson Man. And if I have to drop that link again, all he has to do is tell me. But um, yeah, so I'm kind of curious how that's all going to pan out. I'm, I, I honestly think that um, I didn't know a couple of things. I didn't know that she worked at a law firm at one point. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I didn't know that um, she wrote him. That is what was uh, interesting to me. Oh, is he? Oh, I didn't think about that. You know, I, after we, after the judge with the perfect curl in the middle of his head, or in the middle of, yeah, I guess that's sort of right. The middle of his forehead, I can understand. That's, you know, it's a high standard to have to get to live up to. It takes a minute to get that curl just so. So, but yeah. I just wanted, I just thought, feel like, um, I think, the fact that she, this is what I find interesting about, oh, strawberry shortcake. She was originally an alternate, right? <clears throat> and then she ended up actually being seated. And I'm, I'm sure the argument is going to be made that uh, she, there he is. There's Molson man. Hey. Fuck. Right. I do it again. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Oh, nice. I love hearing myself cough. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so I, f I wonder if the argument is going to be, well, you know, she was an alternate and, you know, she really only sat for the very last end of the trial and she couldn't have had that big of an impact. But I don't think that's true. All right. Here we go. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm well. Good. Good, good, good. Um, Rose, a curious Rose said that you were working on the uh, uh, curling your hair. I figured it was because you wanted to keep up with um, the judge from Chazzle Dazzle. No. You know, how he had that good curl in the middle of his forehead. No, he's right. I was. Did I do a good job? You did. Fabulous mm -hmm. job. Thank you. And it looks healthy, too. Like you didn't overheat it or use too much product, Ezra. Talking okay. to you using way too much product. She All right. No, I, I didn't do much with it. No, it looks good. It looks good. So you wanted to talk about old Scott Peterson, eh? Well, well you actually touched on him. I'm trying to hook in here because I, you know, okay. I was going to come in and then leave and then come back. I um, like it. I didn't realize that she wrote him like 17 times. Neither did I. I just found that out. I'm like, what? Whoa. Me too. Where'd that come from? Right. It, it, now, let me ask you, do you think, is, I mean, the, the, okay, so he's guilty, he's in jail, but the fact that she wrote to him, I mean, and now they're, you know, the possibility of going back, is that an automatic kind of a conflict of interest kind of thing? I mean, is, is a jury instructed not to ever write? I, I, I would imagine that's an unwritten rule, right? Uh, hold on. Let me think about that because I mean, I'm sure there's no actually anything like there's no memo about it, but I'm just I'm like morally. No, like but you know what? I no because I feel like wasn't there a juror with was it one of the serial killers? I feel like had 
some type of like fling or something with one of the jury members after the conviction, after the, the trial Night's was Walker, over. Was it? Was it the Night Stalker? He well, yeah, that might be it because I know. Hold on a second. I'm not positive. I'm just. I I, I know he had a lot of females for whatever reason that he did, and I could never figure that out. Well, yeah, his so teeth all jacked up first and foremost, so I don't get it either. But here's uh, not just that, okay? But that's the first I, and foremost. And yes, yes, that's that's children. the first thing. But then <laughs> right. he got his. Te- I think he got his teeth fixed while he was locked up, and then so we all paid for that. That's yeah, really well yeah. Spent. good. Right. But here's my other thing. I didn't know until the next the Netflix thing came out. All of his crimes, I, I think everybody would can probably guess the one that would be the most egregious to, you know, yes. Yeah, I didn't know that. Do you remember back in the 80s, there was an actual, uh, like a ABC or something did a movie on it. Um, Like it was like a two part. Remember they used to break shit up like over two yes. nights. And um, it, it was well done. I I, it, I mean, I can't think of anybody that was in it. Um, but do, do you recall this? That's yes, the first I thing I had heard about it, the case itself. And then after that, I looked farther and then I realized what a monster he truly was. See, I never really looked into Ramirez. Now I will say this. I do remember... There used to be a show, I feel like it was on like TLC or A&E, one of those channels, definitely not ID, but um, they interviewed women who married men on death row. And the first story was Richard Ramirez's wife. But this was back, I feel like either the, like the, Probably the very early 2000s is when this came on. I, and I also feel like he married more than one person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I feel, yeah. Who was the other one? that? Um, uh, Tex Watson. Didn't Tex Watson have a couple? I feel like you might be right. Yeah, I know he, de- he had one for sure, but I feel like maybe he had multiple but can yeah. you? That's polygamy, right? You can't you can't marry while you're married. Or does if I, if I'm a, if I'm an inmate in jail and Jen, you come visit me and we get married, are we really married? Yes. Are we all really legal? Married? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. It would be legal, but mm-hmm. they're prisoners, so they uh, to me they're not entitled to any rights like we are. But I guess it wouldn't. I mean, you have to consider it legal. Yeah. Oh, I forgot what I was. I know what it was. Now that I'm looking at the chat, um, Amelia said oxygen. I actually think it was we. Okay. When it used to be like more crime, like it had more crime stuff on it. I it, think it was yeah, me it was, that did it. Yeah, it was more crime based, wasn't it? Mm-hmm, I don't mm-hmm. think it's around anymore, is it? We is around, but they do different shows now. Oh, they're, okay. they're a little different. But um, yeah, um, as far as her writing to him, yeah, I think that? that after the jury is released, I think they're free to do whatever because if, because they're allowed to give interviews if they want to. Do, do you remember the right after the verdict, how her and there was, I, th- I think it was the foreman, it was, it was a mm-hmm. gentleman, and they mm-hmm. were outside kind of like almost like, like mom mentality, like we got them, we got them. And they're like, you know, almost it's like a football game. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I thought yes. that was kind of um, inappropriate for them to even act that way. But, and then it turns out like all along, she's all happy. She nailed them, but yet yeah, you're writing them. So, so what's your story, lady? Right. Like, this is my thing. I could understand being unsure how to answer a question on the questionnaire. Yeah, sure. That's that's the time when you ask the question. Right. If you don't know, isn't it better to ask than not? That's Because at the end of the day, he's going to, he's likely, very likely because of this going to get a new trial. Now, he may not win at this level. Right. Mm-hmm. But he can still continue to appeal it. And the higher courts. Yeah, absolutely. Well, more than especially if you get to the California State Supreme Court. This is a reset. This will go on for a while now. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. very, very big on following people, you know, of the Constitution. And mm-hmm. she lied and she violated his constitutional right by doing that. Now, And the thing is, is that she's so this is what shocked me about her attitude when she was testifying, she was so adversarial and actually really indignant. And she didn't she? 
Right. But she should be humbled. If it were me yep. and I screwed up in such a manner, I would feel so guilty. Wouldn't you? For the family. Like I would yeah. be, I wouldn't be writing Scott Peterson. No, I the would roaches. be writing. Like you, what you've done yeah. with the roaches again. I would be writing her family. Right. This is, this, this year is 20 years since that happened. You're bringing this right. all up again, 20 years later. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. But, but I, you, if you remember, I mean, uh, you, I'm sure you do. That was a big case at the time. We didn't, have, we, we didn't have all this stuff back then, but that was a huge case. I do believe that she was interested in. Uh, we had a friend, a wife, my wife's cousin, um, that we're not friends with any longer, but that's not important, who was infatuated with Scott Peterson just based upon his looks. So I do believe that, uh, that it's not out of the realm of possibility that women were just drawn to him for whatever reason. And she may have been one of them. And somehow got herself on the jury and, you know, all along with just the idea of forming some kind of relationship or whatever. But I do believe she, maybe she, she misinterpreted herself on the, on the thing just to get herself in there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Misrepresented. There you I go. Just, That's the word. I just yeah. find it interesting though, that at one point she worked for a law firm. I've never worked for the law for, uh, for a law firm in any capacity ever in my whole life. You up your, your, That'd be one of your wheelhouse items, in my opinion, but go ahead. Thank you. But mm -hmm. even I know per what perjury is, right? And sure. even I know that if I'm not sure how to answer a question on a questionnaire yeah. where I'm signing it under the penalty of perjury, like mm -hmm. I don't think perjury carries like a, a super long sentence or anything, but look, jail's jail, prison's prison. Who wants to go there? Not me. Can you imagine me in prison? I'd have to be proving myself in that yard every single <laughs> day. Big mama. It'd be a nightmare for me. But she, she's she got immunity, right? Yeah. That's what I was taught. I was at. She I has nothing to lose. And no. She's still so not being she being so rude? That's yeah, the she, thing. She's still being a douche. I mean, for lack of a better word, she is. Well, she exactly. And the thing is, is that the reason that she's up there in the first damn ass place is her own fault. Right. This you isn't like these sure. other jurors. See, now they're going to have to question all the other jurors. Mm -hmm. OK. And now if they had a, a little bit of an attitude, I I don't blame them. I would be annoyed as well because. It's hello, 20 years later, leave me, well, 18 years since the trial. But leave me leave me alone. This is in the past. I mean, I'm yeah. sure this has bothered people in their minds. You had to. You know, they saw the pictures. They saw them. I mean, this shit you'll never get over. And now this is all brought back up again because you have her that had perhaps an ulterior motive all along. And now 18 years later, it's, it's now coming to the front. Now we got to deal with this bullshit again. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And again, we're talking about uh, Sharon Rocha and um, I can't think of the stepfather's name, but you know who I'm talking about. Yes, yes, like, yes, yes. And, and the brother. And all yes. That, and go through all this shit again. I know um, Jackie Peterson's dead. I, I don't know about the father. I don't believe he is, but if uh, whatever. But the family has to go through it again. It's, and it's exactly, yeah. exactly. And and the thing is, is that after um, you know, California did away with the death penalty, which, to be quite honest, it was a. <laughs> A worthless penalty in California just because obviously you get the appeals, yada, 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 automatic appeals. You can, I assumed it was gone long before it was officially gone. So, yeah, there, because they that. don't exactly because right. it's you are more likely to die on death row of old age or disease than you are to have your uh sentence commute, you know, and you be reborn again and sentenced again and the whole thing again before correct. Yeah, right. in California. Correct. Yes, correct. Like, they're 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 process is incredibly slow and it it's is. expensive too. We're, you know, this, the, ta the taxpayers are the ones who pay for the end. That's why California, deals. I mean, that's part of the reason California is such a goddamn expensive state and a, and a horrible state too. I mean, no, no offense to anyone that lives there that may be here. I just personally am not a fan of it. I don't have anything against any specific state because, you know, I'm from Texas and you know that our motto is, you know, it's Texas and it's 49 bitches. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate that. I think California just, it just, it, California just falls to its knees to like the wrong reasons. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I yeah. It's just, you know, I feel like I just, her attitude just blew me away. I, th okay. I, I remember this very distinctly and I talked about this a couple of nights ago, but then um, I think we even talked about it a little bit on Saturday because it just, Allie made me laugh so much when she asked this, she's like, um, how come she's a hostile witness or something to that effect? She was asking me about it. And I was, okay. ex 
explaining to her what what the term hostile witness means and <clears throat> can you tell me exactly because i'm not yes quite sure what that is so basically, i've heard it i just i just would like to know the proper term or the so, proper meaning okay so basically what it is is when a person is called as a witness for either side whether it be the prosecution or the uh defense right it's a person who's if their 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 testimony is helpful to the side which they were called, but detrimental to themselves, meaning okay. because she is although she received immunity, she really has. Uh, yes. No, it's not advantageous for her really, uh, if especially if she didn't have immunity, it's not advantageous for her to um, testify. Number one. And number two, she's going to be the type of witness who will never expand on her answer if she's not asked. If you ask her a question that requires a yes or no answer, you're, just that. you're going to get unless she what I noticed is when she was testifying, she did. She said she wanted to explain. Excuse me, ma'am, that it was justification, in my opinion. So, you know. Right. Okay. Thank you for breaking that down. That makes total sense. Yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. I had to ref I don't know all these things. Like I don't have it all stored in my head all the at all times, but I do look stuff up quite yeah, frequently well, I, I, so I can know. I've learned a lot right here anyway, but this is now a, a new thing I've learned. So I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank well, you're welcome. You're yeah. welcome, which is why yeah. I thought it was interesting that in the uh West Memphis three case that that um Detective uh, Birch decided that Stephanie Dollar, who had known Jesse for a long time, um, she had lived at the other at Lakeshore when Jesse lived at Lakeshore. And, you know, they were, she, he, you know, he babysat for her while they were at um, where, what was his trailer park that he lived in? Highland Trailer Park. Yeah, Highland. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because uh, Damien was in like Shady Grove or something like that. But anyway, um, that, you know, I don't understand why she, why he would deem her a hostile witness. Her, her, her testifying, whether she was called for the state or whether she was called by the defense, her testimony wasn't going to hurt her. Right. But it makes sense. No one you know. Heard. Right. Yeah. I, I could never like, why would you call her a hostile witness? That's what he deemed her. That's not even the right term. He, she, she was, look, all she could offer was, um, an alibi. She said she saw Jesse at the trailer park because of the, uh, because of the, uh, situation with the cops being called out there, there was an assault. Her child was involved in it, yada, yada, yada. And so, you know, why would the state have called her? Now, the defense may have called her, but this, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, I just, she didn't. Did she mislead? No, that's Vicki Hutchison you're thinking. Okay. Of. See, I, okay. You, I mean, are you, this is, this is your baby. This is your case. Vicky. And I, I followed it through you, but yeah, you obviously have it down pat, but yeah. Okay. I no, remember. I have to look stuff up quite frequently. No, uh, I think you've got a good portion of it down pat. Let's put it that Thank way. Thank you. Right? Thank you. Absolutely. I want, I, um, I, I don't know if you were, yeah, you were in here earlier. I'm going to start getting back into that case. I, uh, I need to start doing, no. I, I want to, um, I got, uh, Terry Hobbs's book for my birthday and, um, I was thinking maybe we could like, I have to look what the rules are about reading it. I know I've seen other creators read books, but I don't know, right. you know, how that goes, so I'll, but I, at least I if nothing else, we can discuss it. I'd asked you before, like, are you doing it? And you had said to me, um, I think it was back when you were doing your um, uh, 12 Horrors of Christmas thing in mm -hmm. December. You know, like you just needed a break. And it, I, I totally get it. I totally get it. I'm like, yeah, of course. I mean, that, that's, that's it's a mind fuck. Of course you need to walk away from it after a while. And you can always come back to it. So yeah. I'm glad you are coming back to it, but I'm glad you took the break because I you probably need needed it because <laughs> you can only read but so much of the same stuff before you're like, damn. Or well, you're like, I mean, you just read the same shit over and over and over, like you're um, um the, from The Shining. You just keep typing the same fucking word. Yes, <laughs> that and yeah, <laughs> for reals. That <laughs> and um, I kind of wanted to see um how this whole DNA testing thing was going to pan out, and I sort of wanted to 
right um, you know L let technology yeah i kind of want to right now in the, yeah in, during this law you're in or, or or the you know the hiatus you're taking yeah maybe. yeah you know right? i thought well i'll just you know i'll take a little bit of a break from it because what i really want to do is i really would like to do um the map where i show everybody where everybody was at the time uh, you know at specific you know all throughout the day between right. the, the fifth and the sixth, but using doing that on like Google Earth is a huge. I can imagine that's a pain in the ass project. Yeah, a huge. But huge I like how project. you're doing the visual because I, I like having visuals. You need to I, see. Yeah, mostly me. I, I, I'm more of a hands-on guy versus a reading a book thing. I'd, ra I'd rather like you show me how to do it versus me reading how to do it. Like you know whatever. But I like the idea of seeing the map and seeing what's going on. Cause you can, you can get a perspective. Yeah. I think yeah. Uh, we'll see for me. I th and I think for a lot of other people, the crime occurred in West Memphis, but Damien, Jason and Jesse actually lived in Marion, which it's not like miles, you know, like it's not, you know, hundreds of miles away. But it's, but so different. it's a different County too, isn't it? They uh, he, no, I think okay. I, let's see. I know West Memphis is Crittenden County. Okay. And I feel like I have to look it up. I'm not, I'm not a high camp room. Well, that's irrelevant right now. I'm just trying to, I, I'm thinking that, but it's not two different okay. jurisdictions is what I'm getting at. I guess. Well, yeah, but also, well, yeah, but also the thing is, is that, um, what's interesting is it's not like an incredible it's not an incredible driving distance. Okay? okay. But it's not like a quick walk either. It's like an yeah, hour you gotta get walk. Them by vehicle. Yeah. It's like, a, it might, it's a 10 minute drive, but it's an hour walk. Yeah. We can go a long way in, the, in our car in 10 minutes versus us walking. Right. Think about it. Yeah. Yep. I, I don't know who I'll be. I'm going to tell you this right now, Max 2002 in everything that I've done, all of the research, all the things that I've looked at, all of the various theories that I kicked around. I can, I don't know who did it. I really don't. I you can't. really don't. You, I mean, you don't have it. I'm mean, sure you have a theory, but you don't. I, I don't well, ever feel comfortable telling the well, theory because I don't I have Sorry, I figured you'd have a confident theory. I mean, we all we obviously don't know, but mm. and you know what? Keep that to yourself and let things unfold. Here's, I can. Uh, this is what I'll say. I can tell you who didn't do it, and that is Damian, Jason, and Jesse. They didn't do it. Um, there is just first, first and foremost. Even if you listen, even if you believe, an I don't have an accent. I don't hear you having an accent. Well, even I, I am East Coast, though. I live. I, I'm on the East Coast, but I didn't think. I didn't maybe a, maybe do East a, Coast people have an accent? Yeah, do they we? do. There's a Yankee. Uh, 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 there's a definite different. It's a Yankee accent. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not quite North enough to be Yankee, but no, I don't think you are. Like, like Boston has a distinct accent. Oh, sure, they uh, do. New yeah, York yeah, yeah, I'm has yeah, I'm not there a, a distinct accent. Maryland, or not Maryland? Is it Maryland? Is that where I'm thinking of that has, it's wherever it's from. It's a, uh, remember, um, American horror story freak show. What oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 Ethel or uh, darling. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That um, there, they do have, a uh, uh, interesting accent. Yeah, New Jersey do. has an accent too. I haven't read the book yet, Amelia. I'm going to start on it, but I, this is what I'll say as far as the, West Memphis story goes, <clears throat> even if you listen, even if you believe the Bible confession, for lack of a better word, I, um, this is the confession that happened at the jail with, uh, Jesse and his lawyers were there and the, both, uh, the prosecutors, I, I know Fogelman was there. I can't remember if Brent Davis was there or not, but anyway, this is the whole, this is the, the kerfuffle about the the uh, Evan uh, Williams uh, whiskey bottle. Even if you believe that confession word for word, okay, you ha and if you take the time factor where he says he was and at what time and then what time the boys are thought most likely to have disappeared and all of that, there is no way that 
they walked from, see, Jason, Jesse was in at Highland Trailer Park. He says that he met Damien and Jason at Lakeshore. They walked from Lakeshore to the crime scene, which is the little gully yeah, that little area yep. behind Blue Beacon. That in that itself is an hour's walk. Okay. Then you have them committing the crime, which to be fair, that crime probably took no less, probably took more, no more than maybe 30 minutes max. More Jen, like can I ask you, can I interrupt you real quick and ask you a mm -hmm. question about this? How close was the Bojangles to this to where the crime occurred? Was it a Bojangles? Uh, uh, yeah, it was Bojangles, probably about, I think like a mile, mile and a half. A mile. Like okay. I've <laughs> always been intrigued by the guy in the Bojangles. Yeah, me too. So, okay. sorry, uh, I, didn't, I didn't mean no, to get off no, topic. No, no you're fine. You're fine. Right. So then you have, but then you, ha but, but Jason had to be home before nine o'clock because that's when his mom called. She worked nights. And right. I mean, okay, right. okay, so he had to be at he had to be at home by a certain point in time. Okay, there was not enough. Then you have simultaneously you have um, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, Hollingsworth. Um, you have her and her family driving to. Uh, it's a different. Uh, uh, laundromat than the one um, right. that that Damien and Domini had been at earlier. That's on the other side of town. Okay, so then you have them. You have to have Damien and Domini walking along the service road. So if Damien, if Domini wasn't there when the crimes occurred, okay, which she wasn't because her mm -hmm. mom says she wasn't, and nobody ever thought she was. All right. right. So when did she get to the crime scene? Did Damien, it could sound like they had cell phones. So no, did Damien. 93, right? Right. 93? Right. So okay. did Damien leave the crime scene, walk back to Lakeshore, get Domini, walk back to the crime scene, and then walk back towards Lakeshore in time right before 10 o'clock, like at 9.50, I think it was, to for uh vicky or not vicky what is her name why can't i think of her name narlene hollingsworth to have seen damien and uh dominie on the side of the road and a lot of nons that's non not practical in it's my opinion. not it's not mm -hmm. practical at all and then you have the nons who think which is non-supporter who believe that it was jason well <clears throat> okay Let's let's discuss that theory that that Narlene, who she was, I I feel like she was Dominique's aunt. All right. Here's the deal. She knew that kid. She knew Dominique since birth. All right. And the officers that interviewed her multiple times gave her multiple chances to change her story and put Jason there instead of Dominique. And Narlene refused. So why would, what, what motive would she have? What motive would she have to see? I don't think, I, I do think she saw Damien and Dominique. I just don't think it was that night. That's what I think. Okay. No, in, in that, that makes sense. I just don't think it was that night. No, but I mean, think about, and I, and I agree. Think about people that are, 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 are witnesses or anything. People often do forget. I mean, we all sit back and we watch these, these things and we're like, how do you not know what you did Saturday night? But think about it. What did you do last Saturday? I mean, for a second, think about it. Unless it's something significant, like, oh, I was at a wedding where I was here. You probably right. won't know where the hell you are. So exactly. If I had not been live with you. I That's what the hell I was. <laughs> <So> yeah. <laughs> if I could not have said. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't remember every single thing that I that I ever that I did on Saturday. Do you know what I mean? And it yeah, was exactly. a, it no, was right. a nothing day for these kids. That's what they don't. Know. That's well, they're a kid, of course. I mean, what the you hell? Know? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, and and the, the the truth is, this is what's always boggled me, and I have never gotten a satisfactory answer to this. You have, and I get it. One hair that may belong 
to cherry hops. It is similar. It's a uh, mitochondrial DNA. So it's not like uh, nuclear no. DNA, right? That we think of. It comes from the mother's side and it doesn't, it can't exclude as many people as other DNA. Is this right? hair still in evidence today? Do we know? It is. It is. Has so, it been tested recently? I mean, like, I, the- I think that's one of the things they're trying to have tested. Gotcha. Okay. Petitioning. My, so, uh, they should, right? Right. This is what's always bothered me. How is it that only one hair was found? And it, and this is why it boggles my mind because Pam had the best Farrah Fawcett in all of West Memphis. She had great hair and it was long. Melissa Byers, she had hair down to her butt. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dana Moore had long hair and hers was a distinct red color. None of their hair was found. None of the mother's hair was found. Nobody else's hair was found. Uh, Todd's hair wasn't found. Uh, John Mark Byers, who also had long hair, his hair wasn't found. Jason had a mullet, a long mullet. His yes, hair wasn't right. found. Damien had, I don't know if you can even call that a mullet. I don't know what he was had going on. I'm talking about before the trial because he had his hair cut for trial. Yeah. Whatever that hairdo was when he was arrested, it was longish, not yeah. found. Uh, Jesse. Now, Jesse didn't have uh, real long hair, but like, let's be honest. I mean, you're you're out there scuffling around. Okay. So how is it that that creek possessed such magic water that it could erase any but that but that good and there is dna that's the thing and it was found i god dang it on the eyelet the shoe hole and it is male and it doesn't match Damien. It doesn't ma- match Jason. It doesn't match Jesse. It doesn't match anyone. Right. Including Terry Hobbs. Now, at that, after they, after the Alfred plea and all that, that's what they were talking about with Ellington. And he did the gentleman's agreement. But if you pay attention to what he agreed to do, what he agreed to do was run that sequence through CODIS in an effort to exclude it from being someone at the crime lab or on the West Memphis police department. And he also had like a caveat because he said not everybody that may have come into contact with those shoes um, back then in, in 1993 may not have submitted a DNA sample to CODIS, but it would have been a start why they didn't do it. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. You know what's but interesting, it, though? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the fact that you just said it was 1993, and we all knew, I mean, I imagine you and I had, uh, the, the guys, like you said, the people did have bigger hair back then. You they know, did. the women, even the guys. So where is all the hair then? That's a I good point. Like, where's all this goddamn hair? You have people, like guys that used to wear their hair down to their, you know, middle of their back or whatever the hell. Yes. Where exactly. is it? All? Where is it? That's interesting. I, n- I never thought of it that way. That was a big hair era. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And I don't think that that creek possessed any, you know, magical powers that make that make it a statistical right. anomaly. Co- correct. Um. So, OK, to On answer. On the flip side, real quick, if I, and I'm oh, go sorry. Ahead. No, go ahead. You're fine. Talk too much. But no, going back, let's, let's flip the script to the Petersons. They find okay. they find one hair on a what is it needle nose plier in the boat of Lacey. Yes, one hair. Do I am I here, am I remember that correctly? I think that I, was it. I feel that that is correct. Yes, I do too. So I'm like, isn't this interesting? I mean, she apparently no one knew he bought the boat. Um, right. He supposedly transported her body and, and dumped her, dumped her, and he very well may have, but just one hair. I would well, think there'd be there'd be hair everywhere. I mean, just because of, as I'm sitting here talking to you and I don't have much hair, but it's supposedly falling out because that's what happens to our hair. I you know shed I mean? all I shed constantly. Yeah, the, my wife, her brush, it's like, I'm like what the fuck is that? It looks like this like she brushed the cat. But right. it's her I hair. shed constantly. <laughs> so I yeah, that I find to be interesting as well. Right. right. The only thing that I could think of is that what if he the, the that there's a single hair because maybe she was wrapped. 
Well, I mean, the, and it was over on a needle nose ply, or we can right. run that to imagination that that's not the best, you yeah. know, whatever, but exactly. But I feel like, um, I feel if you invited me to dinner in your home and I walked in and sat down and had a, a great meal that, and I left, there would be some hair of mine left behind in your house. Yeah. And you would have picked some of mine up. Perhaps so. With, exactly. I mean, I'm a good housekeeper and I vacuum frequently, but right. I, I mean, look, I've got two cats and a dog. Well, what happens are... is every time you vacuum, you fill your canister up with, with a bunch of shit, don't you? Exactly. Yes. Even if you do it daily, it still exactly. fills up. Yep. Exactly. So the yep. chances of you walking out of here with multiple hairs for multiple people in this house, as yes. well as depositing your own hair here. Exactly. Is very, right. very, it's a plus, high probability. Plus skin, all kinds of like exactly. DNA. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. Now, yeah. as, as far as the bite mark goes, uh, Vincent, now that's Vincent's <laughs> missing ear. I, I never did think that that mark looked like a bite mark. It never did look like a bite mark to what me. What do you think it was? Or do you have a theory? I always thought that, um, honestly, I thought he got, I thought he, it looked like he got hit in the eye with a belt, like a belt buckle oh, okay. or something else. You know All what right. I mean? Something yeah. like that. I never thought it was a bite. It's such, it's in such an odd place for it, for it to be a bite mark in the first place. It just never looked like a bite yeah. mark to me. Yeah. People don't typically bite that area of somebody, right? No. I mean, when mm -hmm. you think about it. No, it's not like, like the arm, right. the hand, not necessarily the eye it would have been the eye like right above the yeah. brow like you know it's just a weird place yeah. and um i just never thought it looked like uh an eye to me and here's the thing I, I will say this as far as the hair goes the hair is enough to have reasonable doubt but it's not enough to convict somebody else i agree absolutely not you know what i'm saying they're gonna need more for sure but first, the biggest hurdle to, to for this case, in order for this case to be looked at again, what needs to happen is Damien, Jason and Jesse need to be exonerated of the crime, which then opens the case back up, which then frees the West Memphis Police Department and any other agency they ask for help uh, to then investigate the case. Here's the problem, though prosecuting unless they have i mean and they're going to have to have something the the level of beyond reasonable doubt is exponentially higher in this case than in any than likely any other case because of everything that's happened i mean well, it's already you know what i'm saying <laughs> It's already a high profile case. So you got to, you got to dot your I's and cross your T's, which I don't think Arkansas is willing to do or go on record to do. Right. Well, I feel like if, if they got an exoneration, they would have no choice. If, if Damien right. Trace, they would have no choice, but to open up the case again. But here, my problem, my thinking is that the bar for reasonable doubt would be exponentially higher on the part of the prosecution because so much of the original evidence has been called into question as to how it was interpreted. And the thing is, is that throughout the appeals process, the state has contended that the um, marks on the boys were not caused by animal predation, but by a knife. So for the, all of that's documented. So a defense attorney is going to have a field day with all of that. Do you see what I'm saying? No, I know exactly what you're saying. And, I, and I'm also thinking because of the brutality of this crime, whoever committed it, um, I, and there's more than one. Would you agree? It, it, one person didn't do this. Do you... I, I I would tend to agree only because of the knots. Right. It had, had different knots. Right. right. Good point. I mean, and, and that makes total sense. Um, I, I I'm just I'm being on a human level here. I'm just like like we're talking. What are we? We're nearly what thirty years later. Yeah. Subconsciously, how would you live with yourself and not just be like, you know what? I'm I'm an older guy now. I ain't got many years left. I've got to get this off my chest. You know what I mean? Because I think the type of person that would do this. In the well, yeah, this place, is a sick fuck. This is a sick fuck. Right. This right. isn't a situation where here's the deal. This is a hit and run kind of situation. This was a big. Yeah. yeah. Right. This, this was deliberate. not. This was not an accident when they right. got out of control. Do you know right. what I'm saying? Like it's. Right. And I hate to even say, I don't know another way to say it, but just to say this, let's think about this reasonably because there have been, there have been situations where children have 
died as a result of an accident and the accident has been covered up and that happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's one child. Now we're talking about three children. Three, three, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The likelihood right. that this was, um, you know, I can see one child being the focus and it did get out of hand and the, it was unintentional. What happened The wasn't, the death was the unintentional part. Everything before that was intentional. Just the death was unintentional. And then a panic where you've got two witnesses now, your host. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that I can under that I could see, but even still, for you to be able to think that way in the first place, I agree. Right, would make would, in my opinion, negate the likelihood of guilt to come forward, and that's just what I think. Now, the, okay, so there's speculation with the West Memphis Three that um um witchcraft, Satanism played a role in that, right? That's always been kind of a a a, a theory, right? Yes, it's always was. It's always been a theory that but, the the what what occurred out there in that creek. Was well, the knots alone lends itself to the fact that it could be because didn't they didn't they didn't they notice the knots resembled something that was that of Satanism or witchcraft practice? I don't think it was the knots. It okay. was it was the number of the victims, which is three, and then. Um, Oh, okay. The That's age right. of the it's victims, yeah, yeah. and it was the it was the fact that Chris Byers um, had been emasculated. It appeared that he had yeah. been emasculated. I think that's a lot of where because the thing is, it's funny. Three is not inherently satanic. Three, if you think about it, it's like no, three it's, safe. Th three is the holy trinity. Yes, it's your religion. Number. Yes, you know it what is. I mean? So. Right. I've never, uh, I've never understood that. I've never, ever, I've never, I never understood what, and this is what's always boggled. This is what's all I've always found interesting from the very beginning of the case, the invest, I think it's Gitchell, but it's not authored, wrote a case summary. And I'm talking about like day two or three. Okay. He didn't think that this had satanic overtones. He didn't even think that the uh I don't see how you can't can't think that but anyway go on just... he didn't even think that the crime took place out there he thought that was a dump site that the primary crime scene where they were actually killed was somewhere else and he said because it was a lack of physical evidence out there it was a no. blank scene so even in the very early days inspector gitchell was thinking the right way I don't know what happened and what made him change his mind, but mm -hmm. he did because that those I I would bet m my party tit on that <laughs> he what? is my party. You know, you know, you, you, you know that expression, calm your tits, except for your party <laughs> one, because that one never. I never. I heard the comments. Yeah. I never heard the party one. That's cool. I like. Yeah. It. So <laughs> yeah, except for your party one. So I would bet my party one. Right. That it, that Gitchell is the one who who authored that uh, case summary from very very early early on in the case. Okay. And there is no, uh, and I have to disagree with you here, Callie. I think it depends on who the perpetrator is. An adult, an authority figure would be. Listen, it, there are think about a classroom. All right. There are usually what between 25 and 30 kids to a classroom. How many teachers are there? One. And they can control 25 to 30 kids. And that's the truth. Yeah, um, but, but, oh, but, not, but not under duress, though. Think about that. If, 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 yeah, if a think about came in and you're one teacher in a class of 30 and, and you hear gunshots, these kids are going to go ape shit crazy and rightfully so. The teacher's not going to be able to, to reel them in. But they we'll do. Talk, and they well, have. And then, well, they have absolutely have, but we also know sometimes they have, and it's not the teacher's fault. Absolutely, no, it's not. You're going to always have that one that those two or three rogue kids. But if, you're, if, if kids are scared, hold on, let me say this for uh Tony real quick. Mm -hmm. Let me do it, Levin. Um, now it is, yeah, <laughs> That's all she he, needed. He, she likes for me to say because Gitchell <laughs> gets asked at the press conference how strong. On a scale of one to ten, how strong is the case against I'm these late. boys? And he says, Levin, Levin. How are you? So, yeah. 
Uh, but if you think about it, if a kid is scared, right? Yeah. Um, they're going to do what they're told because what they're thinking that's is, true. You're right. Is if I if I do what's being asked of me, I'm going to get no, out of here. Good. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. It's much easier. They're eight years old. It's we're much told easier. to follow follow orders. Mm -hmm. to, exactly. Good point. It's much easier to control eight year old kids. You know, it's kind of funny real quick. Like we were talking about like the satanic, perhaps whatever with this one, but go back to Peterson real quick. Okay. Remember they're trying to do, they were trying to once upon a time use the whole, they were supposedly like, she was a the victim of, uh, 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 what the hell is that? Like a Rosemary's baby kind of thing where they. Oh a yeah, 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 thing, yeah. A cult thing. And there was, I mean, I didn't actually believe it, but there was kind of supporting evidence like people backed it up like yeah there was there there, there was a group in that area that was yeah. doing things to pregnant women and so that's something of like think about it like the idea of people walking around like like doing things like this to people like just seems so out of the like like not even a possibility to me like if someone around here like died in that kind of way i'd be like there's no way like, these people don't exist but they do exist and it exists in this it case, in that case well here's what i well here's what i will say i agree that people do all kinds of things in the name of religion, no matter what the religion is. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I would agree that, um, do I think that Damien, uh, more than dabbled in different? Yeah, I do. In fact, he, he does now and it's more than a dabble. Okay. But I don't think that one thing has anything to do with the other because it doesn't really it doesn't matter whether uh, Damien was a Wiccan, a Buddhist, a uh, Hindi, a uh, or practice Hindu, or he right. was a straight Satanist. He wasn't there. And at the end of the day, that does it doesn't matter. Do I right. think that there were kids back like teenagers around West Memphis that were doing things that emulated what they interpreted or thought of as potential satanic rituals. Yes. Do I think that any of them were legitimate, actual satanic yeah. rituals? Uh, no. they're, they're kids. They, they're, they're just right. they're basically playing a big game. Correct. You know I mean? As far they're as Damien, right. Damien was definitely looking for something. And that is a fact. He was looking for himself. And he was never going to be satisfied in small town, West Memphis, Arkansas. And that's mm -hmm. the truth. Mm -hmm. The truth of the matter is if none of this had ever happened, if those boys were never murdered or if they were murdered and Damien, Jason and Jesse were not charged, the truth of the matter is this. Damien would probably still not be in West Memphis. I think that he and Dominie would have stayed together for a few years after the birth of their son, but I think they would have gone the way of many young teenage parents. I think they would have split up. I think it would have been contentious. And I think that yeah. they would have left. Yeah, right. You know, I think they yeah. would have split up. And that's the truth. It's just crazy um, to me thinking of like like um young people with with these with these minds that, that could do this thing. Like I, I'm gonna switch to another case. I, I always go to Shanda Share because that's my um, original case. Um, and I know you're familiar with it, right, Jen? Mm -hmm. I am. Laurie, Laurie Tackett, she always just dreamed of killing someone. That was, that was her big fantasy. She just wanted to kill somebody. You know she what I mean? She talked about it a lot too. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like, and, and, and they grew up in rural Indiana, which there's nothing, it's not like it's a big city where she had big influences. No, she just, whatever. And, and she carried out her fantasy and, and did just that. I'm like, well, I, I don't know just escapes me how people get to that point, but it does exist. It does exist. And mm -hmm. the, and that's the thing. I, I was never going to, uh, when I started looking at this, at the West Memphis three, what case, brought you like, what was, what was, what was the thing that brought you into it to be, if you don't mind me asking, like, what, what was it that intrigued you so much to where you did the big deep dive? I found some problems it's just with, an injustice you feel an injustice occurred so therefore well, you i was okay here's the thing i i i watched the first documentary okay and i told everybody this i had smoked a joint before i watched it so i actually the As i didn't watch should. i actually didn't watch it from the beginning 
I came in probably about 15 minutes into it. So when was, was this? Like how long was this recent or like, Oh uh, God, no, yeah. this was like when it first came out, like That's what uh, I mean. Like 96, 96. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah. I, so I was slipping through the, the, the stations and landed on that. And it was so, it, it didn't seem real. That's why I didn't realize it was a documentary. It seemed like such BS. Okay. So I was watching it and, and I kind of put it out of my mind. And then another, uh, then like, I don't know about two thousand was it 2001? I think it was. Yeah. I was on the internet and I found a website that you could look up, um, people on death rows last meal. So I was, I was, I was, I was, I was reading it. So then I put in Damien Eccles and it wasn't there and he hadn't been executed. So Amelia, I, like, I think that might be on Hulu. I'm sorry. I just which, saw Which, what's on Hulu? Um, the Parkland. It's oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it might be on Hulu. I, I believe I came across it. I didn't. I have not seen it, but I think it came across my Hulu. And then. Go and ahead. Then I'm sorry. I, oh, no problem. And then I, um, I Googled him to see what was going on in his case. And then there was the WestMemphis3.org website. But there were okay. also other sites. There were easy boards that were um, adamant about the guilt of the West Memphis Three. Okay. I read every single uh, document that was available online, everything from the case file that was av available online at 2000 in 2001. And I remember that <clears throat> I feel like it was 2002 or 2003 when Exhibit 500 was uploaded which is Damien's psychiatric records. It was used in the penalty phase as a, as a mitigating circumstance. It's put together by his defense team. So I was like so opposed to reading that because I felt like it was never part of the case file What like for the investigation. It was only done after the fact and it was, I felt like it was a violation because there's a lot of deeply personal inner inner family situations that were discussed in that thing. Yeah. So I wouldn't read it at first. I ended up reading it a couple of times, but um, at first I was very, I felt like it was a violation. It shouldn't be online and I refused to read it, but I wouldn't judge anybody that did. I but just, you were grateful to find it, right? Yeah. I mean, well, I yeah. thought, I, th I thought, okay, it's here. But then I was like, well, I remember when it was being talked about and I remember the discussion about uploading it. And I was like, I was anti uploading it. I thought it was a violation, but I understood people wanted to know. And so I just mm -hmm. said, well, I'm not going to tell other people what to do, but I'm not going to read it. So I did it. Right. Um, but at the time I started reading the case information and just be the, it was the autopsy reports for me. The autopsy reports never matched what Jason or a Jesse said happened that day. Even right. if you take away the, the rope versus the uh, shoelaces, throw all of that out the window. But when you're talking about the injuries to those boys and yeah. I, yeah. I didn't just read it for myself. I, I asked pathologists who know, who understand those reports and I asked them about it and they, I never asked them who they thought did it. I just asked them to explain to me what the report read, what it meant. And when I found out what it meant, and then I listened and I listened again and again and again and again to the confession, I read the confession, I, it never made sense for me. The, the, the kids could do this to, is that what it is? Because of is that is that how you you feel at the time? Like I felt like it's not that I I I didn't think it wasn't because I didn't think that Damien, Jason, and Jesse were capable okay. weren't were not capable of doing it. Like ethically, morally, they weren't the type of people because I didn't know them. And sure. it, to be honest right. with you, almost everybody, I suppose, on some level, is capable. Has cap is capable of, of any of this. Yeah, you're right. right. Yeah, so most point. people just don't do it. But yeah. more to the point is what Jesse said happened out there was not shown in the autopsy reports at all. So how could he have seen what happened and get it all the way wrong? Oh, Rose, it was prime. Sorry. Um, Amelia. Oh, yeah. Prime. I, I, that's yeah, it is on prime. Not, um, Hulu. I always, I always go to Hulu automatically. 
Me too. Hulu well, that's my Netflix. cable service here. I, I got rid of everything else. I have, well, I have Netflix as well, but Hulu, I can get live TV as well as, you know, their other stuff. So I was just go to them. <laughs> Anything I see, I'm like, it's on Hulu. It's on Hulu. So sometimes it's not. But. Yeah. Like I just, hold on. I want to say, uh, I forget. Oh, I know they're talking about, I think the, the devil worshiping, but for me anyway, what Jess, what, what Jesse said happened that day did not match what was noted in the autopsy reports. Mm -hmm. And that's that for me. I mean, that's, I, I, it's science. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. So I have always been of the opinion that, and at different times I've considered different scenarios where Okay, maybe I uh, maybe I read something just I didn't interpret something right. And yes, the, the West Memphis are guilty. That that one was I ruled out fairly quickly after the autopsy reports. Then I thought, okay, well, maybe Jesse was never there. Could it have been Jason and Damien? And that's when I started looking more into where everybody was. And I want to see that that thing you're yeah, working on. That, uh, that'll be interesting. Yeah, and what time everybody uh, was there and all that business. Then I was like, okay, that that can't be. But then I considered a scenario where it was just Damien. Because, I mean, I eventually did read his uh, Exhibit 500. And the truth of the matter is, is that Damien had issues. Okay. Did he have more? Well, they all did in a, in a, in a way, didn't they? Well, well no. No. J J okay. The two that were violent, known violent, were mm -hmm. Jason or were Jesse and Damien. Jason never got in. I mean, he was in trouble for shoplifting. That's it. Okay. You know, but J Jesse had a history of fighting and starting fights. He hit girls. Uh, Damien had a, a history of he had some suicidal ideation, but he also would say crazy outlandish stuff. But here's the thing. I don't know. I'm not in a position to evaluate that. So I can't say if, if, if Damien was being sincere when he said certain things to his psychi psychiatrist or when mm -hmm. he said certain things to his parents. Okay. But what I can tell you is that. Was he, was he medicated? Yes, like, he was. See, you got to take that into consideration too, right? He was being medicated and he was, yeah. you know, taking his medication and he was getting a decent, you know, he was the therapy was going well and the notes reflect that. Okay. Now, what I will say is I do believe that to an extent, a huge extent, I do believe the things that Damien told Jerry driver about there being like a life long, uh, Satanist where it went through generations was complete bull crap. I do. I think that he, greatly exaggerated stuff you can say I think, bullshit here oh you can, you, <laughs> you can. bullshit you can say you can say i'm it. just trying to behave uh he great i think he fed jerry driver a ton of bullshit i think he was pissed off that he was on probation in the first damn place and i think he fucked with him and i think right, that right. i think he internally regarded jerry driver as less intelligent than himself and i think okay, he, right. he took pleasure and fucking with him. And that's the truth. And it was too, do I think, he, I, I don't it, think it, he ever it, imagined it would get to where it's it old was. It's old-fashioned bullying, basically, right? I mean, come on. Well, J Jerry Driver was his probation officer. Oh, and yeah. so uh, I think that he regarded him as stupid. And I think that that's, when that, he, when yeah. Jerry started, when Driver started asking Damien about Satanists and shit like that, I think that Damien thought he was freaking nuts. And I think he first started feeding him a little bit here and a little just bit there. Along with it. My, right. My, just to see yeah. if, he, if he would believe it. And I think yeah. the fact that he believed it made Damien respect him even less and fuck with him even more. And I think that's the truth. I just don't think that Damien ever thought that Jerry Driver was going to run to the West Memphis Police Department through Steve Jones, which was his uh, assistant, I guess, if you want, if you will. Mm -hmm. They were whatever. He was the supervisor and Driver or uh, Jones was, I guess, an assistant. But bottom line is, I don't think Damien ever thought that Jones would show up at the West Memphis Police Department saying that looks like Damien Eccles finally killed somebody. I don't think he ever right. thought that's what was going to happen ever. Have you have you 
reached out to any of these guys? I wrote uh, to Jason one time, long Did time respond? ago. Uh uh, no. No, he didn't. <laughs> Mm-mm. I never wrote for I never wrote to him for him to respond though. I I just wanted him to know that. No, but that would have been cool. Had him yeah, respond, I yeah. I he of all of, of of the three of them, I would I would not talk to Jesse because I think Jesse. I think this has profoundly affected Jesse in such a. He's the only person. He lives in West Memphis, Arkansas. Still, he lives in his dad's trailer. I mean, oh. Je Jesse Senior has passed away, but Jesse mm -hmm. Junior lives in his dad's trailer. He still mows yards out there. You know what, what I mean? So is he like upstanding, meaning like just a good good guy? Yeah, he's a good yeah. guy. It's he's not he's that. not like like um a habitual offender no. of yeah, okay. No, huh? you know, sometimes it, it once you're once you're kind of deemed that person, you just become that person. Like, yeah, like you, no, he's right. not been institutionalized right. or anything like that. No, he's um, you know, he just does his own thing, but I think that it has um adversely affected him. I think he's really oh, yeah. showed up from it and he Absolutely. doesn't like um he, he doesn't really talk about the case and he's kind of closed off and and all that. So I would never I I, I wouldn't talk to him because I think it would be I don't think I would learn anything. Right. I don't really I wouldn't mind talking to Damien, but the person I'm the most curious about is Jason. Because for And where Jason, is he now? Do you do you have a, a clue? Jason's in Austin. Austin, Texas. Oh. Mm -hmm. And what does Damien, he do? Uh, he is doing his own. Um, it's sort of like it's an offshoot, sort of similar to the Innocence Project. It's called Proclaim Justice or Proclaim Innocence. Sorry, Proclaim Innocence. I've actually and heard he, of that. I didn't he realize he was affiliated with that. Yeah, okay. he, he works with trying to get people's convictions overturned. I, I, I swear, I'm, I'm not making this up just for the sake of this, but I, I just saw something recently with that name. I don't remember what the hell it was, but okay, that's interesting. Um, is he um, a family guy? Is he, got, is he married, kids, all that stuff? Um, he was married okay. for... I feel like a hot minute, but then they split up. Well, I truly don't care. I was just asking that to, uh, just because. The, no, I no, no. I was trying to remember if they actually did get married. Uh, okay. So I don't know if you've seen. Uh, yeah, just, if, he had, yeah, if he had support. System. Not anymore. Thank I think they've been, they've been, they've been apart for, for a few years now, like maybe four, three or four somewhere. It's been a minute. It's been a while. Um, I, I, I'm given to understand that it was not amicable and that she stole his money. That's the rumor. I cannot, no, no, I don't no. know if that's true or bitch. not, but it is What a bitch. <laughs> the girl that, I don't know if you guys remember West of Memphis, pro you probably do, but not like verbatim, like my crazy ass does, but Holly is her name. She was the girl in the hotel room with Jason when his mom came to see him. That's her. She was also there at the press conference. She's uh, the brunette with the glasses. She's a really cute girl, super sweet. Mm -hmm. But um, things just didn't go. I guess it didn't work out. I'm blanked out on her. Now, uh, for a time, Jesse went back to dating Susie Brewer, which was his girlfriend at the time of the crime. And uh, they it didn't work out. And then Damien is still with Lori. Allie, you know I have. <laughs> You know it. I mean, you don't really know it, but of course you know it. Meaning, like, it's to be assumed, yes, I wrote someone in prison and, and, and they wrote back. Anytime you want me to uh, come, Curious Rose, I will be there. You know that I will. Oh, Anytime yeah, you need me to come on, you know, talk about anything, really, if you just, even if you just want me to crack jokes, I'll do that too. But if you, anytime, I would be more than happy to. Come yeah, over yeah, and talk yeah, about yeah. the West Memphis story. Absolutely. Rose and I were talking about you and your, um, um, not, I, 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 my I, I, bullshit. No, 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 no. Your, your, <laughs> your knowledge, the word I was looking for. I couldn't think of knowledge of that case and like how it would be cool if you went on there and, and like discussed it because she's got questions about it too. So Absolutely. That, and the thing is, is, this is my, this is how I feel about the case at this point. And I think this is, I think this is what's helped me with the Watts case. Sometimes you just, even what though, case? What? yeah, even though <laughs> you don't want to, you have to get to a point of acceptance. And I think at this point with the West Memphis three, 
I, I'm always hopeful and optimistic that the wrong will be corrected. And more than anything, I just want Christopher, Michael, and Steve to get the justice that they deserve. I have, however, accepted the fact that that may not happen. You know what I'm saying? And maybe they don't get justice on, on like in the legal sense, but I have a feeling the universe always writes and corrects things, evens things out and makes wrongs right. It just takes a while. So I have, even if they don't ever get, which I hope is not true, I'm always hopeful that this will be corrected. But even I've accepted that it may not be, much like the other case. I don't think we're ever going to know all the things we want to know. We're all, never going to have every question answered. And even if we did, it probably wouldn't be to our satisfaction. We'd have follow-ups. Well, so I... Think about what, what would we talk point. about if we had a slam shut case, like a, like a real case where like the guy shot his wife or the wife shot her husband or whatever. And it's, it's, we don't talk about that because it's, we talk about the ones that ha lend itself to like interpretation, other things. Like there are That's possibilities true. that we don't know. Otherwise, why would we talk about them? You know but what I mean? I also think there's something to be said for watching trials to understand the justice yeah. system. I've learned an incredible amount just from watching trials, even trials that are, um, pretty much, uh, you know, a slam dunk case, even then. And, you know, I can even, there are some trials where they are a slam dunk and I'll even look, I'll even find a loophole. Well, maybe he, you know, but. Well, we'll I, 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 I thought before I watched the goddamn thing, that Casey Anthony was a slam dunk. I put myself in a jury position. I'm like, I would have voted with them. I'm that's sorry. the problem. That's see. And I think that that's, I think that is, an excellent conversation to have mm -hmm. is just exactly what it means to be on a jury and what you really have to do. You have to take, I don't care if you watched every single everything on the Casey Anthony case prior to mm -hmm. going to trial, what you binged Nancy Grace, you binged all the things, all the specials, Mom, all the, <laughs> exactly <laughs> all of it. If you watched all of it, you're supposed to put that out of your mind. You you're are. only supposed to consider what is presented to you in court. And that asking human beings to do that is a lot. I mean, it was easier back in the day when we didn't have all this you know, information. Gender. The, uh, I'll use the word cool for lack of a better one with the Casey Anthony thing is I remember the case. I remember it unfolding. I remember thinking all along, well, you did it. Obviously you did. You went, you went a month before this, that she was discovered. But when the trial happened, I did watch the trial all along thinking she's guilty, but I actually, for some reason, and this was what, what kind of, this was back in what, 2000, uh, what was that? Eight, nine. It's mm -hmm. been a and I was obviously a little bit younger then. I still put myself in that mindset. And that's why when, the, when she was found not guilty, I'm like, I get it. I get why they came up with that thing, though I think she's guilty. Yeah. That makes any sense. It happens all the time. People can be morally guilty, but found mm -hmm. legally not guilty. Yes. You know what I mean? And that's the messed up part of our justice system, but it is our justice system. And I just think it's worth having conversations like this, you know, because even if um, even if it is appears to be a slam dunk case, I think it's important that um, we watch and monitor those cases as well because mm -hmm. people do have a right to due process. And if you're going to put somebody away for the rest of their lives, you should do it the right way. You shouldn't cheat, whether it's a slam dunk or not. You know, this it should be matter. done the yeah, right yeah, way. Yeah. yeah, this is this is something worth consideration. T take an extra minute. This exactly. Is Basically, essentially it is, isn't it? So think exactly. about it. Exactly. Give me just one second. I'm going to charge my phone and switch to the no, computer. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to answer Allie. Allie, um, yes, I, I saw that you're thinking. Yes, I wrote to, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Shanta Shara case. I wrote to one of the girls that was uh, um, involved in her murder. And um, she wasn't directly involved. She was she was there. She didn't participate, but doesn't excuse her. She could have gotten help. She didn't. But yeah, I wrote to her and she actually wrote back. Um, I think we had, I wrote her three times. She wrote me three times. This was back in 94-ish. I think it was 94 and that was it. But yeah, so I actually did. And Momo, that's how I got into it. Chant to share. That was, that was the case that grabbed me. I was, uh, what was I then? I think 14. When did that happen? 92. 
so yeah, you were the same age, so I'd have been yeah, yeah fourteen. Yeah, no, that can't be right because no, well, I mean I, I turned brother, eight. Yeah. I turned eighteen in ninety five, January of ninety five. But that's when we graduated high school, so that makes sense, right? So yeah, so if it was ninety two. Um, oh yeah, we, I guess were, that's we were right. fifteen. Well, yeah, fifteen. Well, we well you, we were both fourteen when the crime occurred. You turned fifteen a couple of days later. I was much late yeah. later in the year. Because yeah. you're such an old lady, but um, <laughs> I am. For sure. that was old man. <laughs> but yeah, no, but that was that was the one that grabbed me. I'm like, I I, I think I saw. It. I don't know what that fuck I saw. But then then the book came out, and I have the book, and I remember hearing about it. And I went to um our local farm, whatever the hell I did, and they actually had the book. I'm like, let me grab that. And I read that bitch in one day, and I actually stayed up for two days because it just fucked my head up. And yeah. I and I lent the book out to like friends of mine, buddies, my um my um. Um, um, uh, shit. Uh, so, uh, cousins, whatever, and everybody, right? Everyone said the same thing. Why did you give me this? <laughs> because it's horrible. <laughs> it's a horrible first, crime. The first true crime book I ever read was uh, Paul Bernardo and Carla Holmes. Oh, no, that's something. Um, um, Curious Rose wants to cover on on her channel is that the um, the, um what the Barbie Ken killers? Yes, that's, that's what they're yes, yes. Yeah. I, I, yeah, that's a fascinating case to me. Fascinating. Uh, yeah, Casey Anthony is she's here in uh, the Floridas. She's she's down in West Palm Beach. Yeah, she's away. She's kind of a little south from me. And on the well, at least she was last beach. May when she got that little uh, drink spilled on her. <laughs> Remember that? And <laughs> she called the cops. Yes. You called the cops. You got a drink spilled on you, but you you didn't bother to right. you your daughter. <laughs> and see, <laughs> well, and I, that's another thing I considered. I I did consider, and also hold. Let me answer. Uh, mm -hmm. No, that does not make you ancient. At all. I, okay. I might be chronologically 45 years old, but like emotionally, I feel mm, 11, 12, <laughs> okay. Okay. 14 tops, <laughs> 21. Enough to do no spitballs around. And right. Shit. Right. I mean, I still make. It's not be the most mature person. Right. I'm moment, completely right? immature. I don't even, I can't believe I'm going to have, I have two grandchildren. I can't even believe it. But, um, I considered the possibility with Kate, with Casey Anthony that what happened was an accident. I do think there is something to the Zanny story because yeah, I've I always, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I remember when she said the name and I was like, Zanny, like Xanax. Yeah, That's the first yeah. thing I thought of. And I, I have always wondered if she accidentally, or just, accidentally just, get, yeah, because benzodiazepines, which is what a Xan, which is what Xanax is. I sleep they, like a motherfucker on it. So yeah, I don't they slow your what a small child would do on it. Yeah. Exactly. Well, my which is not intended for small children, obviously. Not not Xanax, but I'll right. tell you, my youngest daughter had febrile seizures, and she was prescribed clozapam. So. Uh, the Can I grab my charger too? I'll be right back. Okay. The prescription was uh, half a milligram, mm -hmm. but I was supposed to break the half or no, no, it's a 0.25. So quarter of a milligram, but then I was told to break the quarter milligram in half. So can ch little ones, and she was not even two, can the air, right, yeah, it was between one and two when she was diagnosed, but can they have a benzo, yes. Xanax, probably, I mean, no. And certainly, you know, it'd have to be such uh oh, thank you, Kez Chick. So sweet of you. I know people feel a certain type of way about him, but you know what? This is what I say. Feel how you want. I'm gonna base my experience on the way that I was I've been treated. How I feel about him is based on my experience. And AD has only ever been hilarious and treated me with kindness and care. I mean, look, he made me a birthday video. I've never seen him do that for anybody. And the fact that he did it for me, like, you know, just because it was our birthday, we both have the same, our birthdays are on the same day. I just thought it was really sweet and touching. And I just, and the other thing is, is Winston, that dog loves him to death. And I, just you cannot be a horrible person and love animals the way and have animals love you. And that's just the way I feel about it. But that's my opinion. And that's how I feel. And I realize that other people, maybe that's not how they feel. And that's not their experience. And that's fine. 
but I'm not going to try to convince you. And I don't think you should, I don't want anybody to try to convince me otherwise, because I like AD. I adore him. He makes me laugh all the time. So that's that. That's how I feel. The end. Yes, I remember that, Vincent's missing ear. Yeah, it was a lot. She did a lot. Yeah, Valium. Diazepam is Valium. Um, but they all work. They're all benzos. And they just, um, they really control uh, brain activity, which is why they use them for um, anxiety because your brain is, you know, busy, 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 busy when you are having it, you know, when you have anxiety. And so it it uh, stops, you know, it slows your brain activity. It's why, you know, for febrile seizures, it's good, but, uh, or effective, I should say. But <clears throat> the side effect of too much benzos is that uh, because it uh, controls and slows your brain activity, your brain is what controls all of the things. And as a consequence of uh, having too much benzodiazepam in your system, your respiration slow. And that's usually what happens is when people, uh, you know, I just, uh, you know, it's a, I, but I considered that I considered the fact that maybe that's what she did, that she overdosed Kaylee and it was unintentional thereby making it an accident, but she should still be held accountable for all of it. And in particular, not telling anybody for all that time. And then all of the resources and manpower for lying and all of that stuff, you know? But you know what? Why didn't like I was like I, I agree with you what you're saying. Like I do believe she was maybe maybe um medicated and therefore that's why you know what happened to her happened to her. But like all she, all she had to do was call uh, Cindy and George. They would have kept Kaylee for you know weeks and on on end. At least they appeared to. They would have. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I this is I kind of wonder about that. I sort of feel like uh Kay, uh. George and uh, what is her mother's name? Cindy. Cindy. I feel like Cindy wanted to just raise Kaylee. Right? I, yeah, I but think it's contention feel, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like George was like, no, Kaylee is Casey's responsibility. Yeah, well, Casey, and oh, I wanted to highlight this for you. Hold on. I did it and then I no. took it off. Hold on. I didn't know if you read it. There we go. Yeah, I'm, that's why I was going back. I saw my name. I did it. In. Uh, I have to agree with Allie. Um, I don't. I never saw much love dogs, but I love Allie. But, but you know who John Cusack is. Of I'm, course, yeah, I, better, I yeah. adore him. I I watched him. In Where's my two dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Give me one second. Yeah. Now, but, yeah, of course. No, yeah, I, you you saved me from the island multiple times. How how could I ever be against you? <laughs> Cosby, Cosby, Bill Cosby. What do you get people? Oh, you mean the drug? I initially wanted to go to the pudding pops. Remember when he used to do the pudding pops back in like the early eighties? Assuming you were from that era. Um, oh, he gave them um, kind of like a roofie, right? Because he did to um, what was her name? I know he did it to multiple women, but um, um, who? Uh, uh, Allie was saying, what did Bill Cosby give people? And I didn't know, at first I didn't know what she was talking about. And I, I was kidding and said pudding pots, but remember you used to drug women. And uh, I want to say Jan, not Janet Joplin, obviously. Janice something. It was it was like a 70s supermodel, Janice. She was like a shit nowadays. Oh. What's her name? Oh, oh. Um, she was on Celebrity Big Brother. I know. Dickinson. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. He 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 drugged her. Oh, Quaaludes. There you go. Oh, Anna. Anna hey, Anna flies this. Um, hey. yeah. Quaaludes is is what he what he. Yeah, but he couldn't have been doing that recently. They don't make Quaaludes anymore. Oh no no no! This is back. He did this back mm. in the day. Remember okay. he did. He, he was he was the spokesperson for the Jello pudding pops. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. They were the, they were the shit though back then. Yeah, they were, and you can't get them. You can't find them. You can't find them anywhere now. And even they okay, Jello has this stupid 
like they'll give you it's like a you know to make your own or whatever the molds or what and then i saw that but i'm like i'm not fucking it, with that i don't have little kids so i'm not doing it i did it for myself okay how'd it, how it go how'd it go no, it's crap there's something there missing i, I think it has everything. to do with the with the the wood taste from the popsicle stick i don't know it affects the okay. pudding and it makes it taste better but no it doesn't taste the same it's a big fat waste of time it's good but it's not the same Kez chick was the uh she was the uh drunk on uh and on the island. So they I guess they Oh that's up. right. She yeah. had the all the juju juice. Were you just drinking the Kool-Aid or were you just drinking drinking? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. I drank the Kool-Aid, the beer, the vodka, all the other all the shit, all the things, as Jim would say. <laughs> <I drank all laughs> when I first came to the island, AD had me digging latrines. And then all in in like an hour and a half, I was uh <laughs> I, I had um, elevated my status all the way up to being in charge of the island. No shit. Hey, Jen, is he okay? <laughs> I, I was in a, a chat the other day and people were like, they haven't seen him in a couple of days and I, they were concerned. I, I don't follow him. I, I, I know who he is, but I don't follow him. So do you know anything? I you... haven't talked to him in, in a little bit. Um, and I, yeah, I, 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 I saw Apparently him. He's been absent for a while. I, I, I know I some bunch of people I, saying stuff. So yeah, he might be just like taking a break, but I know yeah, yeah. that um, I saw a post, I saw a po he posted something right, recently. Right. So at least that I'm means sure he's everything's yeah. yeah. Proof of life. Yeah. I think it's <laughs> there you go. I, for lack of a yeah. better phrase. Yeah. But yeah, I did notice that. Cause I'm like, I'm like, Oh, I'm like, cause again, like I said, I don't follow him, but um, it was weird to hear multiple people say they hadn't seen him. I'm like, Oh, that's concerning. So, yeah. Okay. Well, because he's a staple, you know, and everybody's used to him going live. Yeah, um, you know, every single day. And um, then when the, he doesn't, they're like, what's going on? You know, so, sure. um, you know, he has built himself a really good community and they look all of them really look at they don't look just look out for AD. They all look out for each other. And I will. I adore AD. I know I was. Talking sugar about, beet. Huh? Sugar beet just came in. I just hey, sugar beet. I know people feel a certain type of way. Certain people feel a certain type of way and they're entitled to feel how they want to feel. I'm never, I'm not here to change anybody's mind. What I'm saying is for me, the way that mm -hmm. AD has always, have always, always only ever been really kind to me always. And he yep. makes me friggin laugh. And I was telling everybody while you were away he made me a video for my birthday. Granted, we both I share the same birthday, right? You were there. And I've never seen him do that for anybody else. And it was so endearing. And and the thing is, is well, he even said at the beginning, like he doesn't do this, but he, yet he never did it. does. And yeah, no, that the was fact cool. that it was personal with the 11 billion, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Chick said it'll be back soon. Oh, cool. Was it was personal and it meant and it, it, to me, you know what I'm saying? And he busted out the picture. I had mentioned to him um, that I had seen a video of somebody else's that put together like pictures of AD in his younger years. And there's this one specific picture in the video that I thought was a really good picture of him. And he put it in the frame and he has it, you know, and I just thought it, it's just it's that tells me something. It was personal. It was, it, yeah, he exactly. He listened when yeah. I told him something. Yeah. When I when I said, hey, I remember this out of the third, and he remembered it, and then he, you know what I'm saying? So right. I, I like yeah. AD. I adore yeah. AD. And I, however other people feel is how other people feel. But yeah. for me, that's how I feel. By I like, me saying I don't follow him, it, it wasn't a negative. No, I just, no, no. no. There's just, there was already way too much Watts. So I'm like, you know, I, I knew he was one of the bigger ones. I'm like, I, I, I got my little Watts things going on so i didn't need to go you yeah. know that's that's all i meant by it no no that wasn't really for you and so it's okay. really all meant right. for anybody in the chat it's really meant for well, good night max good night max in the replay who might catch the replay that's you know oh, I, okay yeah yeah, yeah I, i'm I rem, i'm cognizant of that kind of stuff but no yeah, i know I, he's i i know there's certain a uh, certain family that can't stand them and there's other yeah. people who probably follow suit with that i i can't get on board yeah, with any I, I don't know. play those kind of i don't yeah i don't i'm not gonna i don't get into all that business but yeah. i'll say this ad makes me laugh and that's he he is he gets he's got that same real dry sense of humor that I have, and he appreciates the fact that I have a dry sense of humor. And I just uh, he just you know he I like him. 
We all can, we're all adults here. We can all admit next to an orgasm, laughter is the best fucking thing. Thank right? you. I, yeah. I love to yeah. laugh and I love Whoever to makes you laugh, no matter who they are, whether they're, they're crude and rude or they're whatever they are, if they make you laugh, that fuck it. That, that, here we go. Here comes yeah. Mo busting in with yeah, the other I didn't thing. know. I didn't know it started last night. It's I think fine. It's, Listen, yeah. this is what drives me nuts about Mo. You see how she writes in here? So, Jen, don't yell at me. Now, I'm just, <laughs> what what do I browbeat you, Mo? Like I'm abusive verbally to you. I yell at you. I don't ever yell. You got Mo locked in the basement. Is that why she's not up here on panel? Because no, she usually she, is. What the no, fuck did you do to no, Mo? You punished her. No, <laughs> just because she has an opinion. How dare you? I know I'm the worst. Mo, uh, Mo, and I have. Well, we didn't get to. We decided we would have an annual us hang out okay and the okay. first year we had it was uh march of 2020 but obviously last year you guys started covid basically <laughs> well yeah well yeah good she, job ladies when she flew in that's when florida decided okay we're gonna lock everything down so we yeah. spent the week at my house doing literally nothing and had the absolute best time i, I did say, uh, what we, else was expected nothing. well we did go to the grocery store and it was so bare and mo and i were just cracking up i mean we we weren't even do, like the grocery store that's not a fun place to be but it was with mo because we were just cracking each other up so we had the best time so she was going to come obviously 2021, but you know, that was a bust. And so then this year she's coming, but she's going to have to come. Obviously it's March now. It's just, she can't. So she's working a bunch of overtime so that she can come. There you go. Yeah. I don't have her locked anywhere. I don't know what we're going to do when um, I have, when, when she's here, we'll just, I don't know. I'll put her, I'll, I'll put her on the opposite end of the bedroom and she can, uh, well, no, don't destroy your During, studio now. No, no, no. We got to put her somewhere else, right? No, I, no. She can just, sit on, just, I'll sit at the desk and she can sit on the bed. Just and we can, the bedroom. We just can, rearranged it. You don't, we don't. Can, yeah, well, no. I mean, I'll just put her, I'll put her, like, if we go live, and we're not, because I'll still want to do my shows, I'll have, I'll stream from the desk and Mo can stream from the bed. Air mattress in the dining room. Mo is not, she's not like that. She doesn't, she'll be fine with that. She'll like <laughs> not bougie like that. She's air mattress in the dining room. Nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> Actually, when she stayed, she slept with me. We slept oh, there you go. Yeah, she slept with me. And my uh, husband slept on the couch because he had to be at work so early. And he didn't want you guys were all being being obnoxious all he, late at night. Kind <laughs> of a little had bit. to get up for work. Yeah. It's like he told me when Mo, after Mo left, he said, "Never again." Think, <laughs> no, it was actually kind of cute. He said, "I don't think I have ever heard you laugh so hard and laugh so much at, in a lot." Oh, you know, cool. it's been a while. You know what I mean? He's like, I can tell that you and Mo, yeah, you and George, yeah, close. that's cool. She's yeah. I mean, she's my bestie. I don't know. She's like my sister. I love her. So yeah. I'm um, most and scary. Is that me? Scary? I don't know. Hmm. Who's a scary person? Which I don't know. I think I think Heather. Oh, the picture with your uh, mask. Oh, that. Okay. You know what? I do. I, I did say when the when they dropped the mandate, I was going to change the picture, but I've had that up for a while. I will never change. even. I think. I think. I think Florida had a mandate for like. I don't know. Uh, our, ours. I'm in DC. It it it, it went with the day. Tuesday, you got to mask up. Wednesday, fuck it. Thursday, you better mask up. Friday, oh, see you Sunday. It, it, well, I, yeah, I, I don't have a problem with it. This is my thing. Mask? Yeah, I don't I care. Hated it. I, I, hated I, it. I, I mean, listen, here's my deal. Do I enjoy wearing it? No, I don't. It's not. <laughs> yeah, who would? Right, thing right, right. in the world, but I don't have any objections to It's not the worst thing. I rem, uh, so the summer of, yeah, 2021. Mm -hmm. I went and stayed with my sister uh, in where she lives in Georgia for, I went to go visit. Cause I need, I mean, I raised my nephews and they're like, well, my oldest nephew is, you know, an adult now and it's freaks me out, but I've heard you I, talk about your nephews before. So yeah, yeah. I, I adore them. Um, they're just, I can't even express, but anyway, I went to go, I went to spend time with them and I went to my youngest, uh, nephew's baseball game and it was outside. And one of the parks required us to wear the masks outside, I which was no big deal, yeah. which it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just, 
incredibly hot. I mean, it was like June or July. Yeah, right. In, in Georgia in the summer. Like it was miserable. You're gonna, you're gonna imagine. Yeah, it was just uncomfortable, but it wasn't the worst thing ever. You know, like I I didn't have, but I, I have to say for me personally, I don't have underlying health issues. I'm very lucky in that way. I don't knock have any wood. breathing. Yeah, right. Yeah, knock on wood. I don't have any breathing problems or anything like that. So for me, it's not a big deal, but I do understand other people. Right. Like that's the thing. I can, I am empathetic towards other people. I think everybody should just be a lot like, I don't know. I feel like what it, I, it's kind of like YouTube in, in my opinion, this is the problem. Oh, fuck. What's going to end up <laughs> happening with YouTube is because some of us, and it's, it only takes a few who, uh, who can't behave, right? What's going to end up happening is YouTube is there. They've been letting us somewhat govern ourselves, right? They have their terms of service that they barely and only half-ass enforce, <laughs> right? Because we're supposed to be, we're really supposed to be policing ourselves. That was really the concept of YouTube, right? But clearly we're not able to do that. And if we keep monkeying around, what's going to end up happening is YouTube is going to step in and they're going to start enforcing. And when they do that, it's- I don't know. I think they're bringing in too much money to give a fuck at this point. I think, I well, I think it's going to take the right situation and kind of- Well, like yeah, you're right. That's coming. Perhaps. I think with like, just like with Facebook and then Facebook got overzealous. And remember, you couldn't even talk about taking out the trash and you would get your, you know, because- the, the word trash was flagged for Where? other reasons on Facebook. I never did Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Facebook flagged the word trash. It didn't matter what comment Why? you were because it's can be used in a or negative trash way. Eat? No, like the term, like calling somebody white trash. And oh, I get it. Okay. what they oh, did I, was, okay. right, so right, right. it didn't matter what you were saying. It didn't matter if you said, I got into a fight with my son about taking out the trash. Boom. The word trash was in it, no matter the context, and the post would get deleted and you would get a warning. And if you if and that was it, you got your one warning. If you used any other words that were unbeknownst to you on the banned list, you would catch a ban. I put real quick, I put something in a chat the other night. I don't remember even what it was, but it, like my thing wasn't it was like almost invisible. Mm -hmm. Like waiting for approval because I used a word. Mm -hmm. I didn't remember what the word was, but that's never happened before. I'm, and, I'm, and, I, and I saw I'm like, what the fuck is this? And whoever whoever it was, they approved it and it went through. But it wasn't to me. It wasn't a big deal. It was, I was just making a joke about. It. I didn't use. It wasn't even a uh, 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 profanity. I don't. It was just so don't. sometimes on uh, a creator uh, will have their settings where there are no, certain, where you can't say okay that's where there are certain words that are triggers and they will it will show the mods like uh auto, it'll say automatically held for approval and it'll let the mod either post or hide but this right? is like kind of innocuous it was it was not it wasn't a word it, it usually has something to it has it, it can be very innocuous i've i've seen it um I, I don't know, uh, Vincent's missing ear. I have no idea what the alt, like what you're, I have no idea, but I'm telling you, I just remember somebody typing the word trash and, and getting a warning. And then I bet you that would probably be, would probably work over what you said. I get what you're saying. I get yeah, what he's saying. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah. some type of analytic on a channel and some, and cause I've seen it come up too, where on, on channels that I've mod that I mod for, and I can't figure out why the hell are we, why does this need to be approved? But whatever, it's some weird thing with YouTube. I just don't, I just ignore it, but I'm worried that if, um, we don't start acting right on the YouTubes, they're going to come in and they're going to start do, you know, controlling us because we're at, because we can't control ourselves. And I think that's going to take away, uh, away from the fun that YouTube can be. That's all. Well, uh, okay. Let me, I'm trying to open something. I'm sorry. That's all right. Okay, now I'll actually just open it. Um, it's inedible. That's what I'm trying to. Open. Oh well, I, I well I, 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 I look at this. Look at this fucking thing. I can't. That is. 
that's like child proof for real. Yeah, what well, the fuck? It's supposed get to some be, scissors. Well, that's this is all I had. This thing, and I just oh pooped it with this. Like, okay, fuck? yeah, you just needed to make. A I'm off work tomorrow. So oh, okay. Cool. Um, I, no. What I was saying was, uh, we were talking about uh, YouTube with the, the shit. Um, they do need a clean house in some places. I, I mean, I agree. I agree. But here's, this is what I'm, this is. I Not would, YouTube itself, but maybe. Uh, I would, this is what I'd like to see. This I'm is listening. what I'd like to see. I'd like for people to just not be dicks. So yeah, that's it. Just if it. it uh, Maybe, maybe treat other people how you would like to be treated. Don't treat them how they treat you. Treat them how you would like to be treated. And if, if you don't, if you can't get along and you don't like somebody, just leave them the fuck alone. Don't talk to them. You know what happens when I don't like a channel? Nothing. I just leave. That? Nobody knows that I've left. Nobody knows that I was there in the first place. I just leave. <laughs> Jen, has there been places that you once hung out at that you don't like kind of like hanging out anymore because it became it became over overpopulated by not not by people, but by that um whole thing? Yes. Yeah, like like once upon a time, there, the, you know, there were certain channels that were like, oh, this was kind of cool. Oh, this was cool. And then all of a sudden, like, you guys are just bitching and moaning and there oh, are oh. there are chats that I oh, my God. I'll say this. But I made friends in these chats. That's why like, I, I did too. Because I have a couple friends in there. At least I like to say hello to from time to time. I just this is what I feel like. I there are there I there are some places I I no longer go for various reasons. Right, of course. And this this is what I feel like. This is why I started being more um, active and going live more frequently because I felt like I can't be the only one who feels like this. So maybe. Instead of just being like, why does it have to be like this? Well, I don't know why it has to be like this, but maybe mm -hmm. I can do one small thing. And for right now, there's 20 people in this chat who are all having, I think, I would hope, a good conversation. Either they're talking with each other in the chat or they're interacting back and forth with you and I from the panel and, but at the end of the, but the bottom line is at, there's 20 people in here right now. Well, 22 counting me and you who are having a good time mm -hmm. talking about various things and not things that are none of our business. You know what I mean? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. We're, 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 we're talking about things. I, I was going to say with purpose and, and I'm not taking away from anything else, talking about something else, but yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I just like, feel the drama. I, like, I just feel like yeah. things are traded as they go along. I'm like, come on now, guys, come on. I like true crime. I, I like too. true crime a lot, and there's I like various. There are there isn't any facet of true crime really that doesn't interest me. I I like yeah, me all of it. I like learning about the person who committed the crime because why they did they do it. Thank right. you, guys. They're, 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 I appreciate They're not the it. asshole. The, 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 the killer is not necessarily the asshole. They're, right. They're I, 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 so, yeah, look at it on every angle, right? Exactly. Right. And then I like the investigation part, yeah. right? I like to figure out how they put all the pieces together to, to surmise that this is what occurred. You know, obviously they weren't there, so they get as close as they can to what actually happened. That part fascinates right. me. Then when it comes to prosecuting, I love a trial. I love it. I love to see. Well, the it takes a new dimension, right? Exactly. It, it takes I, the crime and now puts it in. Yeah, you're right. It, it's exactly, a process. Exactly. And then, mm -hmm. and when I think that there is injustice, I like to to learn about the appeals process. I like to know that, yeah, it does take a really long time. It does. And right. there have been cases where people who are are actually who have who are actually innocent right. have and been executed, and that is a travesty and, we, and, and I, I just want to add we should be grateful that we live in a country where that is available even though there's a lot of people that are convicted of crimes that, didn't, that they did not commit but we do have an appeals process or exactly. a due process so we should feel very and i think that that grateful to have that i do. it doesn't always work but you know exactly it's not a perfect system but it's a good system and i think 
that when you, this is just how I feel about I, being. I don't remember that. I'd love to know what's on that I one. don't even know if I should. I don't, I, yeah, I guess I could call myself a creator. I do make videos. I've made a ton yeah, of Yeah, you're videos. a creator. You're certainly a creator. Absolutely. So, as a YouTube creator. I feel like it sounds fancy to be a creator. Like it's too much responsibility. I'd rather just say as somebody who has a channel and puts shit out every once in a while, that's really more apropos. For yeah, me, you got to type something there. I got to know who that, I don't remember that. I'm sorry, Jen. Um, no, you're fine. I, I mean, now I got, like, got in trouble in, in a chat before. And I, I don't oh, remember. Yeah. I don't remember it. I'm, I feel, you and I have always kind of floated around together. I do. I, I, I beep up around quite a bit. I don't do it as yeah. much as I do, I used to. But I do think if you're going to be a true crime channel, this is just my opinion. I think that allowing I, – I've never been a fan of mob mentality and a rush to judgment on cases. Um, because there's, and there first, shouldn't be that, that's we're only that ever gonna, the problem. Exactly. We're only ever going to know so much. And at the end, this is, this is the fine line. The public's need and want to know cannot outweigh the, the process victim. Exactly. And the process that ha in my opinion, that has to be respected so that, the victim in the end gets the justice. That's what it's about. That yeah, is why that is we have that, got, that. That's gotten lost. Along it has. The way. It has. And it's, a, I understand wanting to know every single thing. And this is, oh. I can't do anything about other people, but I can't control me. This is why I have personally, although I watch and I'm fascinated by current open cases, I have, purposely and intentionally not covered them because I feel like it is a very fine line between covering a case. Yes, and, exactly. exactly. That point. Yeah. Sorry. And getting in, in interjecting in the case and interfere. And I don't want to do that because I don't want to inadvertently do something that makes the case difficult to prosecute. You and I like discussing cases. If I ever like get to the point where like, like, cause I get, I know what you're saying. Cause I've had discussions with uh, other people and it like, it becomes kind of hostile. Like, okay, I have a belief and you have a belief and I, and I see this is the shit. I love, I love batting this shit around. Right. The banter. I'm, I don't want to become enemies because if, if, if you think uh, Andre Yates didn't kill her kids. I, I know that's a stupid fucking analogy. And this one, did, like, like we, we don't have to lose our friendship over it. We just, you know, agree to disagree kind of thing. And we can have a different idea, right. Or a different opinion on the same case. And we don't yes. have to have, we don't have to duel at dawn over it. There you and go. It's not that deep. That's what I was getting at. And yes, Andre Yates killed her children. Yeah, she, well, obviously she, she admitted to doing <laughs> she it. <laughs> she, I that mean, was a <laughs> shitty example. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I feel that um, you know, it doesn't need to be that deep. There are certain things we can't like. There's no. There are certain things you can that for me I will not agree to disagree on racism. OK, sure. that, you know, that that's sense. kind of a hard no stance for me. I'm, I mean, I, I do not support racism, OK, or bigotry right. or any of misogyny. The, all the yeah, stuff. misogyny. Yeah. Don't be yeah. uh, don't be just look. Just be a good person. Yeah. Don't even if you can't be a good person, don't be a dick. Well, don't be a dick. And also, if you don't like that person, then the, the fuck off and don't, don't deal with right. Them. Just don't talk to him. Right. You know, I don't well, in those situations where we're at work and we have the coworker we can't stand, you play the game with them. But I mean, you don't have to go out and have fucking tea and coffee and fucking right. beer with them. So exactly, you're not you're not kicking it after work and going out for drinks. You work, no. you mm -hmm. do your job, you you maintain a professional relationship. You you put up with one another, and then you whack her knee when she comes out from the restroom and doesn't. I mean, you may have accidentally Tanya Horton kind of fucking, right. or you yeah. accidentally on purpose Locker. tripped her or pushed exactly. her or, or or pushed the button and close the elevator door when the I mean, car ass coming. Something sometimes happens or fuck her. Right. Sometimes it bees like that. All right. But you, you got to be smart about it. Exactly. That's our message. Yeah. Be smart about it. Just don't be a dick. Don't I just wish dick. that, that it didn't have to. I just, I know this is what I've realized since I yeah. can't fix it. Right. Because I'm a type of person that wants to try to fix things. But I realize now that I'm older, I was much more, uh, willing to try to fix people 
when I was in my 30s. But when I hit my 40s, I realized the only person that I can fix is me. So I can make a suggestion. If the suggestion is not wanted or not taken, then I'm done. That's all I can do. I can only control me. So rather than try to say anything to anybody, what I've done is when I, when I see something that I don't care for, I just quietly, not even quietly, fucking silently leave. I just, you know, nobody even knows that I was, that I left. I just dip. I'm out. And that's that. And that's that. And then I, you know, and I have you guys and we come over here and this was good too. I like this kind of stuff too. Just kicking it, just talking and about random different cases and stuff like that. I would much rather do this than honestly, really anything else. I mean, I like movies, music, any of that crap. I, but you know, can I ask your opinion of something? Absolutely. Okay. So with, 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 with the fuckery that's occurring with, with whatever, I mean, I, I, there's a part of me that I'm thinking like, are we the dummies and we're just being played or like, are they all in bed together? Like, are they all just doing this for, or do these people really fucking hate each other over YouTube shit? I'm thinking like, it could be a game. It could very well be real life, real life. I haven't watched in a really long time. And I'll tell you why, because it feels for yeah. me, it was starting to like make me angry. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, if I, it's different if you're watching a show like Big Brother or you're yeah, watching you want them to fight. That's the point Sur- of it. Survivor, Survivor, right? Survivor. Where you're yeah, frustrated you at the you outcome. You got in the back. We want that shit. That's no, what, what I'm saying is it's okay to be like frustrated or angry at that kind of a show because things, you know, somebody that you wanted to win ended up getting voted out, right? Yes, but I, I, want, I want to see the duplicity in that. I don't want to see it here. Do you, right. You, that's normal. That's this is normal. a game show. This is supposed correct. To be, you know, correct. Now the other show. stuff, th- I I haven't watched because it started to make me uh angry and frustrated yeah. and frustrated because I knew that even if let's say that I had intervened and I had clicked every link of everybody that was beefing, right? And I offered them some oh, words was, of wisdom. Oh, Callie, I was about to like Callie, don't go. No. I thought she was talking about like Jen didn't do nothing to you, Callie. Stop. <laughs> Behave, You're Callie. Stole your shit. <laughs> I will. Yeah. I just. No, I'm sorry, Jen. Go on. I, no, no, no. I just. I just saw I'm on subscribe. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I just in real life. I just realized there is no magic set of words. And so yeah. the, 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 my name is Paul and that's between y'all. And I've just, I just stay out of it. I don't have an opinion on it anymore because I haven't watched. I stay yeah. away from it. I don't like it. And I would much, like I said, I find, and, and look, if that's what you want to do, I'm not going to judge you. It's just not what I want to do. So I'm not, I don't want anybody to misinterpret. And I don't, I know nobody in the chat is misinterpreting what I'm saying, but I don't want it to get misinterpreted on the replay. So let me make this very, very clear. Put a banner up, Jen, do it. I don't (laughs) care what other people do. Okay. I'm not judging you. I don't like it. And therefore that's why I'm over here doing my own thing. I'm not, I don't care what you do. You do you. My dilemma is there's two that I belong to, two are the, that have now, that at the time they weren't big. They're mm-hmm. big now mm-hmm. and they hate each other. So now I'm like, I don't fuck around with either one of them. And even though I like them both, I'm like, I'm a, I like, I, I'm not, I was going to say afraid. I'm not a pussy. That didn't mean to like, I like, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to be on the scene in any capacity. You know what I mean? I like, mm-hmm. I like where I go. I like where I hang out. I don't want it to become whatever. Cause I'm not a, I'm not a drama person, but they have now become drama and like, I just don't go, but I still, I still have a membership to them and, and, and pay the monthly thing. I just wish it wasn't, I wish they went back to like what they did before they started hating one another. You know well, what I mean? This is what I think. This is what I've seen. In Does that make opinion. sense? Yes. Give me okay. just one second. I figure it died. It did. Okay. All right, so this is what I've seen in my time on the YouTube streets. Things change. And <clears throat> people who weren't friends are friends. People and, who and were like, friends are, or who aren't, but whatever. Again. Right, exactly. And so this is how I feel about it. B- 
because that's why I'm wondering if it's a game. I mean, well, I, f- I don't feel, I don't know. Cause I haven't watched, but I will say this. I think things change constantly because I think, you know, we're all human and we think, you know, we change. So yeah. what I would say, my advice would be is that. Jim, what's your favorite color? Um, I don't really have one. I really like all of the colors. I I do, uh, I'm partial more towards like grays and browns than anything else. I know. Isn't that weird? It's not even really a color. I like gray. I think gray is a cool color. I like it. Well, I don't even know if it's a real color. But I, I, love I feel like I feel like it might be. But anyway, my point Go is ahead. that I think because things change so much, and and I, if you like two people and you think they're good people, at some point there's always that hope that maybe even if they don't become friends again, maybe they will just. It's just, uh, well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what they're doing, but I don't care if, if they ever become friends at all. I just like, just leave, don't talk about each other. If you don't like each other, then fuck off and don't talk about each other. That That's, that's Maybe what I'm that will happen. Maybe yeah, that's, that's what I'm happen. hoping for. I'm, you know, I, I don't I, need I, them to be friends. I don't give a shit. I, I, I didn't get with them because they were friends to begin with. I they, see, I see. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just feel like, um, I feel like there's always hope. People are, are forever changing. And most of the time, I would like to believe that people try to change for the better. And I think that, um, hang on just a second. More importantly, though, I I think they, both of these people have, uh, channels have lost their initial goal. Right. They just want that. And I think that's more my frustration. Excuse me. I can handle people not caring for one another. That's fine. You know, it happens. Right. But the fact is your, your goal is it's all the water's been muddy now. It's not even what it was supposed to have been to begin with. Oh well, oof. I don't know. I don't have any advice for that. No, no, I just, no. It's just I just feel like okay, Nestor, come on. Nestor came to get me. I gotta let him out. I feel like um, I think that what I I, I find make causes some issues a little bit is that. It's very easy for it to go from addressing a specific behavior to then it becoming to addressing a specific person, which is why I don't do drama, because the way I feel about it is this. If Jen, can I are, interrupt you real quick? Because absolutely. this is a good point. Because Callie just put it here, and we can all do this. We can all blame Chris Watts for every fuckery on YouTube. Cause I don't think any of us would be here if it wasn't for him. Right. I blame Chris Watts for everything. That's going I do on too. In my every life. fucking thing that happened. If I get a hangnail, it's his fucking fault. I bit my tongue the other day on accident, yeah, obviously bastard. not on purpose. And a fucking that rat bastard, Chris exactly. Watts. Absolutely. It's his. My cat his... vomited on my carpet because it's from fucking Chris Watts. Yeah, I know everything that's wrong is his fault. And you're right, Callie. I'm not making a joke. None of us would actually be here. At least I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for <clears throat> that rat bastard. But right. I've met. I've met some really cool people yeah, along the way. You have to. So therefore, maybe he's not such a rat bastard. Not that guy, Molson <laughs> man, though, man. I swear. I don't know about that Molson man. Yeah, he well, likes I, ghost I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trust that fuck up with nothing. But <clears throat> we gotta well, get- he likes <clears throat> ghost face. You can't trust somebody who likes ghost face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm teasing because I no, like no, no, and I couldn't recover from that. But I got to go back <laughs> for a second. And you're right about Ghostface. I got to give him three points. All right, all right. Two for getting me. No, no. The one just getting me on YouTube and meeting you guys. Two for yes. keeping Dieter alive. So he gets yes. three. He has three points. Three out That's of a hundred. It's still yeah. a failing grade, but pretty much. Dieter pretty much. and 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 you guys. But I deduct a point because he the, the fuckery of YouTube, so he gets two points. You guys, and right? Dieter. There you go. Exactly. Fuck. And I agree with I agree with you, Team Psych Ward. Here's th- this is the thing. Before I was ever uh, a a, ch- a channel person who puts shit up every so often and, and mm-hmm. runs a, and and talks, right? Before I was that, I was I was a subscriber. I watched a lot of YouTube, and um, I always. Every t- I don't care how many people are in this chat. I don't care if it's three or 23 or 2003. I don't care. Or 11 billion. Or 11 billion. 
attached to every account is a human being. And I'm just grateful right now there are 23 people who are sitting in here talking amongst each other while I ramble in the background. I'm just grateful for that. We, I always find we have, I, maybe it's I'm partial because it's my chat. I don't know. But I, I, I'm always grateful for the fact that we all have really good conversations, no matter what we're talking about. Even when we're talking about like Todd Mullis, there were people in the chat who felt even very Tear strong. Bear, people kept coming in and she was a pain in the ass. <laughs> yes. At, at the end, I, we could, no matter where we fell on uh, whether he was innocent or uh, what I should say is not guilty or guilty, we all could agree that Tear Bear sucked. We all found a common ground. But we were all able to disagree and give and ha and be respectful about it. No. Liter actually respectful, not just talk about being respectful, but actually be respectful. Because like I said, having a, an opinion on, on a crime case doesn't need to devolve into, you know, we're dueling at noon or dawn, whatever the fuck time it is. Jen, I'm not a, I don't have a channel and I never want one, but being in, I have the advantage of, and here you let me come up, which I certainly appreciate, but I'm also down there. And the cool thing is like, I always see the same people and then someone new will pop up and then they continue to come back. Like, yes. there's always, like there's, people, that's what I like. Right. That's what I mean. Like people come here and they're like, this is kind of cool. And they stay on, you know, yes. I mean, cause it's good people in here. I don't, I, I, I get the reason why, but it's kind of cool. This We just have a straggler that comes in and just, you know, I, I, I like that. I like when somebody new will come in because let's be honest, all of us, Although everybody that's in this chat right now, I have run into on these YouTube streets somewhere else way before I was ever, ever had a channel. Well, like a channel I actually put content on. So, but then there are people that will come in that just stumble in here and find it for whatever reason and will write me afterwards, leave a comment mm -hmm. for me. I got like this really, really sweet comment on one of the videos I did about the West Memphis three. And there's been other times I've gotten videos or comments like this too. It's the comments that say things I can take the criticism. I'm okay with that because I don't get everything right. And there's always room for improvement. But the comments that keep me from being frustrated and giving up and not doing it anymore are the comments that say, you put so much work into this. You're so good at this. You should keep doing it. The encouraging comments, those are the ones I focus on. The yeah. ones because believe me, I get my fair share of, of people who believe the West Memphis three are guilty. And I've been arguing with people like them since 2001. I'm used to, I usually, I typically don't engage. I will, I'll read what they have to say. I will thank them for commenting and leave it at that. It doesn't have to go any deeper than that because some of the comments, honestly, that I've read, I can tell they didn't watch it because if they had, they wouldn't say that I was anti-law enforcement because I'm not. Yeah. Well, or, or they just did, they didn't dive as deep as you did. You know what I mean? I th well, some of them, some of them, like. I mean, if, I, it's, if, it's, if it's absolutely stupid, then that's one. I thing. feel it's like just, I feel like some of the people that have made some of the nons that have made comments on their writing is very familiar to me because I bantered back and forth with them years ago. Okay. And I feel like they kind of just come on, Nestor. They all kind of just say the same things, all of their reasonings that I've heard a million times before. Here's the you recognize all this. Mm -hmm. oh, I hear, I see the Myrtle case. Are you familiar with the Myrtle? Mm -hmm. that, yes. That's that's a. I'm surprised that's not covered more. Quite honestly, me too. Me too. Mm -hmm. that's I think because there's not a lot known. Layers. What's that? I think I think because there's not. I think because. With that case, stuff comes out, and then everybody talks about it, and then it goes quiet, and then uh, something, you know what I mean? It's one of those cases. It's I not feel, constant. I feel the only critical K is that I, I, I don't know if I can I mention I love critical creators. K. Okay, cool. I don't, I, and she's not even, even though she's around, but she's something different now. Yeah. But um, I didn't I didn't know if we could mention names. Some people don't want of that. Of course. But, um, oh, I don't care about that. I like okay, critical K. Even yeah, if I, I didn't do. like her, I would wouldn't care if you mentioned her. Okay. Well, she she was the only one that I I know she's been gone for a while that ever that started Myrtle and and and, and covered it for the few a little bit she was there before you know she was asked to leave. No one else has done it that I've seen. And yeah. That's an interesting case. Really I think is. so. I think 
Yeah. That's I, cases I, within cases within cases when you think about it. Exactly. I but just, I just find that they're like, if you're, this is, I'm not judging anybody for the content they have on their channel because I watch a lot. I watch a, a, a wide variety of content, but for me, yes, Callie, he did. I think he, I think it, they had to disperse it finally. Sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's just ugh, crazy. Yeah. That's it. We'll get in that one day. I feel like the re one of the things I like about true crime is that there are so many layers to a case, e you know, and you can, and, it makes for very interesting conversations, especially I like to hear, I'm always interested in the opposing viewpoint. Not so sometimes I've changed my mind on things like Dr. B has made me change my mind on more than one thing. In many cases, we, we kick around a lot of different stuff. I'm more, I, and I like, I like that. I like that banter. I like to to hear another person's point of view and under try and learn something. I think I think I, that's the thing. I think people should remember people people I wish people could try to remember that we can all learn something from one another. The thing about what you just said though, there's been instances <clears throat> I've had where I've where I've had a discussion with someone about let's say a case and it's like they're purposely fucking with me like just to like create whatever like they're not willing to even hear me out you know what i mean just like mm -hmm. it, i can't explain it just like it, we're having an open conversation we, we're not going to agree on everything you know right but like there's some people that just like, immediately just like shut it down just like no that's the whole point we can discuss this shit and have opinions and whatever not and it's kind of cool and, and then the more you talk the more you you realize like you know what you got a good point there you right. got to put something I didn't consider before. You're right. Okay. And that's, I think, I think that's the thing about YouTube. It's, that it's like, I, I it's think brain people, food. it's good right. stuff. And I think people are forgetting that. Yeah. Okay. We pretty much everybody in this chat, we know each other from Watts Island. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a, a such to us, it seems huge. Right. But the truth is in the scheme of things in the whole YouTube land, Watts Island is very, very tiny. It's like a speck in the galaxy. It's, you know you're, right. I mean? it's like a, you're right. It's like a, like a uh, grain of sand on the beach. Exactly. It's, it's, you're right. And this but is what I us. think. There's so many other channels, communities, all kinds of things out there. So if yeah. a, a, a community or a channel isn't working out for you, I it, that's okay. It's go, but you, but keep, but bebop around the YouTubes and you will find one that you do like. You don't have to stay someplace that you're not happy. I like that your ringtone is it's called I know. Loompa Loompas. It's my favorite. You know, it's funny you say that. Today I was at work and there was a woman in there and she's like, this reminds me of the, um, 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 Johnny Depp. And she couldn't think of me. I'm like, are you talking Willy Wonka? It, I can't believe you just said that. The same yeah. time. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like when he calls the Oompa Loompas. It's really not actually that, but I, I, it's funny. Two people in the same day said this exact same thing. I'm, I silenced it because that, that was obnoxious. I didn't realize it was right next to the uh, thing. No, you I like see, it. Uh, it's not a, I don't. I don't well, no, it's, you know what? All night, you can see how many text messages I get. I'm really popular. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Another fan calling. Stop. Oh, that's no problem. Another panel calls. My right, favorite. exactly. I got to do another panel. Then I got to meet with the press and, and paparazzi. I got to do the State of the Union after that. <laughs> I got some shit to do. To I feel like we, I feel, I like our little chat here. I, I do. do I like everybody in here. We always have really good conversations and stuff like that. But, I, but what I would say is if ever it becomes a problem where you're not enjoying the content that I bring for whatever reason. Blame Allie 79. No, email oh. Shmita. She oh, is the there manager. You oh, she, oh, she's the complaint department. She's there the you manager. Go. She handles all that manager. stuff. Manager. Oh. If yeah. I'm, I'm always open to constructive criticism. And even if you, even if you write me an email that's insulting, I'll read it. But I'm not going to argue back and forth with you. I just don't have. I just don't do that anymore. I'm really good at it, and I could. I used to be, but right. In, but you know how you guys all laugh at my roasts, right? The sa that same tongue that 
makes everybody laugh and and makes fun and pokes fun at the at the criminal on the screen. I can do that to other human beings too. I just choose not to because I never want to intentionally hurt somebody's feelings. And I know <clears throat> that Jody Arias does not give a rat's fat kneecap that I laughed at the time that she tried to stick her finger in the electrical outlet. She doesn't care about that. But if I were to say the same thing to say Shmita and make a, a joke like that about Shmita needs to wash her hair, that's different. And that would be hurtful. Could she fry chicken in her hair? Right. Like if I said that, person? right. If I said that about Verne, I totally agree with what you just said. I just wanted to say that real quick. I'm sorry, Jen. What's she right? She um. Oh, fuck, I, I can't do it. Uh, we were... This one. Yes. Oh, okay. I try. I avoid that. No, I get it. I get it. I just... Like the plague, because no, I get it. No, I totally yeah. get it. I just don't. I don't have. No. I, I just. It's whatever. I for me anyway. But and I. That's I, what Rose is. Rose doesn't want. Yeah. And, I, and I'm not trying to. I just. But I. No, have no, to no, 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 no. It's fine. Okay. No, I don't it's care. Fine. I don't care. It's fine. I um. I'm just saying, like, for me, um, I can argue back. I'm excellent at it, and I can. Everybody can be mean, and right. everybody, you know, I choose. Not to, yeah, because I don't. Now, first, right? of, well, first of all, I'm reason. I do believe in um, karma, the, the actual true principle of karma, and I, and I do too. Like if you do, yeah, go ahead. And Sorry. I'm, I'm, I feel like I've done at least seventy five lifetimes, and I think this lifetime I finally figured some shit out, like. Just because somebody does something to you and you have the opportunity to get them back, if you take yeah. it, right, if you take that opportunity in the next life, you're going to be stuck with the, it's a cycle. And I'm done with all that business. I would like to get to a place where I don't have to do that anymore. So that's why I choose not to do it. It's not even a, it's not even because I'm a like a good person. It's actually selfish. No, Me being an asshole to somebody else ruins my karma and that's why i don't do it not because it's the right thing to do no, no because no, i don't no, want yeah. to do another fucking lifetime it is the right thing to do but but what you just said about you were talking about another age no 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 another lifetime no i think it's the age because you and i are the same age yes and i feel that way i'm like i feel like it's just easier to be like a decent person than it is to be like like if i'm in the grocery store and someone gets like like i hate when the cashiers talk to me I can't fucking stand it. Like, how are you doing? Like, uh, you know, I, I, I always do the, hey, how you doing? And, and, right. and, and like, how was your day? Like, I don't, I don't want to answer your question. Like, I feel like I'm interrogated. You know what I mean? Right. You know, I'm still kind of, I'm still cool. I would never be a dick. And that's right. the point. Just be cool. And I think right. as we get older, we learn, like, it's easy to just be fucking cool. I might not care for you, but I wouldn't. Yeah. Right? Jen, I'm right, on this but I'm not going to go out of my way to fuck up your day. Even exactly. Like it's, it's, it's 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 only creating. I have to I have to use my energy to fuck your day up, and it's right, you're not exactly. worth my time. And then you know? the thing of it is, the thing of it is, when you are an asshole to somebody, yeah. it's not like you get it. It's not like you did it, and then you feel better about it. I I never feel good about being mean to somebody, even in the moment. Um, you know, and I have a very very sharp mm -hmm. tongue, and I know this about myself, and I just choose not to use it. Because honestly, I feel like I only want to, I only want to speak words. this is going to sound so cheesy, but I really only want to speak words that are going to have some type of good impact and meaningful. I don't want to, to, to speak just to that. If it's all it's going to do, it's not going to end in resolution. It's going to create more problems yeah. and it's going to escalate a situation. That's and, how I feel. Well, and, and that is a great way to like look at it. But I feel like like I do want like I I want to say shit to people, you know what I mean? And I and I have said shit to people, and I don't feel bad necessarily about having done it. But then later I think like something bad's gonna come my way because I was a dick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like 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 something bad's gonna happen. Like 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 my 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 whatever my wash i'm gonna have to place my wash or something because i would never be that ignorant to someone where something really horrible should happen to me but it'd be something stupid like now i need a new washer you know or a dryer yeah. or and heat pump whatever the fuck it may be were you in here the night that i went live with um 
Dr. B's sister? No. Okay. So I did. And I, um, because I had to address some stuff and, um, I, I showed a bunch. Was it of recent? I, I maybe it's been some. It's been a few months ago. Um, oh, is that when you were? Yeah. Yes, yes, I was. I, okay. I, I, I did see that. When yes, I yeah. played back those voice messages, I was so embarrassed. Now I'm I not going to lie. Playing voice messages. I did. There. I did some. Of, okay, I'm not going to lie. Some of the stuff was kind of funny. Like you know, you need a glass belly your head so far up her ass, she needs a glass belly button. So you, you know, she, you can see, she can see where you're going, that kind of stuff. Like, okay, that was a yeah. little bit funny, but there were some in there that were just, they were mean and they were, I was angry. You're and human. I know, a, but that's human. the thing. When I hear myself back like that, if somebody yeah. were to talk up to me that way, that's my point. Yeah. I try to, I'm, I'm better now because I'm trying to. You learn from your own fucking mistake. Isn't Correct. that what we're all supposed to do? Goddamn exactly. Deal? exactly. And that's all that I can do. So yeah. I, my vow to you guys, whether you're members or not members, you're just regular chatters and everybody's not, none of that matters to me. Although I am grateful for the memberships. And I'm always, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for you guys just being here. What I will say is that. Except for right, Allie 79. Remember? Well, right. She's complete trouble. <laughs> but yeah. what I will vow for to you guys is this, this will always be um, a place where we talk about true crime, whatever case it is, however many cases there are, that's what I promise you. I, I have no interest. And in, even if I, even if I'm covering the same case another creator is covering, it that doesn't matter because they're them and I'm me. And I have no interest in arguing back and forth with another creator because well, it should be like that anyway. They yeah. should, yeah, exactly. Sure Everybody do. can do their yeah, own the thing. World, right? And I'll tell you another vow that I have for you guys. We're not in school. I'm not gonna take attendance. I don't care where you guys go and chat. That's none of my business. None of my business. Likewise, I that's how I because that's how I would want to be treated. Don't be we're not in school. I graduated yeah. school fucking forever ago. I didn't even really graduate. I got my good enough diploma. But bottom line is this I'm still not in fucking school. I hey, Jen, yeah. You, real quick, I'm sorry, but you you have never even told anybody. I've I've never heard you ever even talk negative about anywhere like to where we should ever like you wouldn't judge us wherever we went, but you no. never talk bad about anyone. So I wouldn't even know where that would be if there was a bad spot. Because there you, isn't. You don't do that shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't. That's hey, Nikki. Point. Long time hey, no Nikki. see, babe. I'm glad to see you pop back in here. Uh, no, I would that's never. Point. Like that, that's the cool thing. Like, like it, it, it shouldn't matter where the fuck any. We're all adults here. You know what I mean? We you, are. You exactly. yourself. I just want to reiterate, like, like exactly what the fuck, man. Exactly. We're not in school. I'm not taking attendance, and don't you fucking take attendance on me either. I'll mm. go where I want when I want. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, to answer about Dr. B, Dr. B is working, and unfortunately, it takes a lot of her time, and she doesn't have as much free time to do the YouTube thing. Because, she just quit that job then. Well, I she's, I think, well, it's an adjustment, you know? So I think that um, it's kind of, you know, as she gets better adjusted and all that, then she'll be able to manage her time better. Nobody misses Dr. B, I promise you, more than me. Because yeah, no doubt. She right. and I are like peanut butter and jelly on the panel. She does Mo, pop in, though. She does she pop does. in. Yeah. Mo and I have a different dynamic, and it's, I, it's equally as important to me. Mo and I are more like chocolate and milk. You know what I mean? Or milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. And now how do I put it? Not chocolate and milk. Because if if Dr. B and I are peanut butter and jelly, not everybody likes peanut butter. Cookies and, and cream. Yeah. Mo and I are like, no, because we're more like sisters. Okay. So we're not, we're, 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 we're something similar. Salt and pepper, right? Yeah. Or like, um, <laughs> come on, I'm giving you two, <laughs> but that's not what I, I like. I know. Um, let me think of two things. We're like a bag of Skittles, right? We all, um, we, we just okay. blend. It's a flavor. It's we're like a, a Twix bar. Yeah. Like a, there you go. Like a Twix bar. Perfect. You put just two in a package and it's <laughs> right. Yeah, she's my, you, you know, they're, I, I care about cake and frosting. Exactly. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Twix bar was better than cake. I'm sorry. Well, I, that too. All of it. All of it. Yes. I just. Oh, it's know, a hot fudge and ice cream. That's that's all of those okay. things. We're just, you know, she's peas. peas and there, that, that's it. Vincent nailed <laughs> they just it. keep coming. Peas and carrots. That's how we are. Dr. B and I are like peanut butter and jelly. And Mo and I are like peas and carrots. Well, you're Shmita then. Go ahead. I put Shmita the and I are like. See, I got like you. my younger sister, right? I wanted, I wanted in. Okay, uh, let girls. me tell you what me and Shmita are like. You guys know that gif of the penguins where the where they're standing there on the ice and the one yeah, penguin, the little the, baby ones, flapping their wings and shit. No, no, no. Where the one they're standing there, it's two of them. One is walking towards the other, and the big and the one hits its wing out and knocks the uh, other penguin down. That's me and Shmita. Oh, okay. We're always giving each other, teasing each other, making fun of each other. That is our That's friendship. It. Yeah. Yes. There's nothing We're wrong. We're always. Shmita is the first right. person that will tell me that's bullshit, Jen. And I'll be like, nah, -uh, that's bullshit. You know what I mean? We just, in a nice way, we're not mean to each other. We just uh, joke around a lot. We have that kind of a joking. It's a Good. loving if anybody were to ever hear it, they'd be like, why do you talk to each other like that? Because that is how Shemita expresses her and I express our love for one another. It's all it's, fun though, right? That's right. What, we that's just what it's all pick down. on each it's other. Like fun. I make fun of, oh, well, I'm going to talk about a movie. Don't worry, Shemita, you've not seen it. She that hasn't seen it. She's stuff. never seen anything. Right. That kind of stuff. That, that kind She's of never stuff. seen fucking Goonies, has she? No, but it's that, yeah. kind, of, it's that <laughs> kind of stuff. That's what we do. We just I'm joke around with, with each other. Too. That's how we are. I don't blame you for being dumb with her. And then Team Goonies. Psych. Team Psych Word in my relationship is let's not out crazy the other one. <laughs> no, for reals. No, Team Psych Word. She keeps me like her and Sam both are like this. They're always supportive. Good night, Kez Chick. She's going in it. Good night, Kez Chick. And they're always um, supportive to me and they give me the best advice and encouragement. And I, I mean, I love, I adore all my ward fam. They really are. Yeah, no, I mean, you guys have been, that's, I met you when you did the rose. I mean, that was, that was back in the spring. Now you guys got it like a, like a definitely like, oh, uh, my edible is kicking in. So I'm not making sense. That's a, No, you're making sense. Yeah. Yeah. You got, you got the, camaraderie that you can the sisterhood whatever the fuck you want to call it because uh, like and, and i'm down with i cannot wait for you guys to roast this goddamn new one thank you what yeah. i'll say what I, I what i'll say about the about the ward girls my ward family <clears throat> is had i not had them there, there, I mean, there's, everybody goes through shit and I'm not going to get too deep or too personal, but, um, everybody goes through shit. And there have been times when I have leaned on the girls and they saw me through something, you know what I mean? And we're, we are genuinely a family in that way. And we can't, we yeah. were friends before the YouTube thing and they yeah. keep, they, I think we keep each other in check. I think we all end up balancing each other out in one way or another. And I, I used to, my mom used to tell me all the time, you need to have a good, you need to have a group of good girlfriends. And I used to tell her, no, I don't mom. I was never really that in, in, interested in having friendships with girls because they would be really sometimes. My, my wife has never really had many girls. She's always been like with the guys. Cause yeah, she never cared much. Were, she has girlfriends, don't get me wrong, but I'm like for the most part, I yeah. saw you with that by that. They were sometimey to me and mean sometimes, you know, like, and I couldn't understand. They'd be my friend one day and then the next day they wouldn't be. And so it was just easier for me, like, fuck it, I'm out. Cause guys aren't like that. If you piss a guy off, a guy, most guys, some guys are not like this, but most guys will just say, Hey, you did this out of the third. And if you, and, and when they're, when, oh, when they say they're done and they're not mad anymore, they're actually not mad. Girls will tell you, oh, it's fine. And secretly they'll be plotting your downfall. 
right? And 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 working it out over a long range. You know, it's a, like a long term. Most plan. true crime is cases of girls killing girls. Really yeah, exactly. Down. <laughs> exactly. There you go. There's something to be said about that. Yeah. So my mom always said you got to find a good gr group of girlfriends, mm -hmm. and we all came together in a really like it, it just it was like a meant to be way, and we all really clicked from the beginning and then over time obviously we became closer and it, it took all of us a while because all of us had been burned on the internet in one way or another real most of us all of us on the internet in this in our group have been betrayed on the internet so that means your guard is on youtube or like another part of the internet both i have been both um do you mind if i ask what you mean by burned so if you want to share it no it's okay so um, I'm just curious about that. Yeah. I used so I used to um follow this person on Facebook, okay? Mm -hmm. Um and then he had as he also had somebody on his panel. And the person that was on his panel one time you panels on Facebook too? Yeah, you can. You can do okay, it. I didn't know that. You okay, can, yeah. Okay. You can I don't have Facebook, so you can do it to <clears throat> both. So okay. that's how I found. It. So then gotcha. this other person dropped a link one time and I, I joined him and then another girl did. And anyway, he just, he said, well, we should do, make this kind of Can I ask what, was this like a true crime thing or just a no, chat? No, thing? no, just, no, it was just like a chat thing. And anyway, okay, okay, so, gotcha. um, I found out some things that I didn't agree with and I didn't care for. And I, I just said, I just don't want to, you know, go live anymore. And, um, yeah. What he ended up doing was going to my Facebook and he doxed me. And I don't mean dox as in he um, just said my name. He actually doxed me. He showed my first name, my middle name, my last name, my address, not my current address, but my address. Um, and or it you could be. Yeah, you could be found that way anyway. But go it, on it went on for hours. He not only doxed me, he doxed my uh, adult children. He uh, doxed my father just because I refused <clears throat> to go. And, and one of a, a mutual friend went to him and said, don't do this. And he said, she should have went live when I told her to. What the fu fuck you? Yeah. He no longer has a, ch a channel. This was a long time ago. Whoa! But um, I, it, it, it just it it did something to me. I was like, f f nobody that anybody from this community knows, or really anybody on YouTube knows, because it wasn't really like a YouTube thing. It was more like a Facebook that ended up on YouTube. You know what I mean? Because you Streamyard allows you to to uh, no cement shoes. No, no, no. Um, Streamyard allows you to f to stream to both Facebook and to YouTube. So this was a long time ago. No, nobody right. that anybody knows. And by the way, at the end, it just it just made me realize. Okay, obviously, um, I there were red flags that I or I or not red flags. I I jumped into being nice to somebody too fast. It's not like he knew anything like deeply personal about me. It was in, in the span of a couple of weeks. But um, it is what it, it was what it was. So I and I know that the girls have in their own ways have had shit to happen, you know, with them or whatever. It's weird. It's weird. I'm sorry. It's, it's OK. It was sorry you went through it. It's, 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 Thank you. I, I'm a, yeah, I'm all right now from it. It's fine. It freaked me no, out. No, I, 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 I consider us all weirdo. friends, but we are all on the computer technically. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we don't know. So what, what, what business do. I don't know. It just is weird to me. I'm yeah. sorry. But... No, it's like, but, uh, but anyways, so obviously because all of us had had a bad experience at one point or another, it took us a long time. So, so our friendship was, uh, we were, we were always friendly with each other, but the, the closeness developed over time, the way it would, if you were meeting, if, if you were friends and you saw them face to face all the time, it, it, our friendship developed like that. And so mm -hmm. when I hear people say you can't have friends who are online or you can't meet people through YouTube, I don't think that's necessarily the truth. I, I, this, these anyway. girls, they're my family, you know, and all of them I've met on the internet.
but I think we all got burned and we learned our lesson. And that way, that's why I think we were, um, you know, it, we are, the trust was built up over time. So, you know, the way that I think any relationship should be built is over time. So, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, he talks <throat> the fuck out of me. That's what I mean. It's, I still don't understand like why anybody would just do like, just, well, he has this person. I don't even know. I, the last I heard, he was in in jail awaiting trial because he committed an he committed a, an essay online. He was uh, like live. He was live when he did it, and um, a lot of people called in. It was just disgusting. It was a nightmare. But this is you know way after yeah. he did what he did to me. So it is what it is. I mean, um, we I learned a lesson from that. I mean, there was really no reason to do that even no there's no there's no reason at all to do, like mention who anybody is if right i like you become like, friends with so uh, well, you know yeah you know. and that's i don't like yeah i would never do something like that to anybody i would never i i don't and that's the thing i don't even if i were to get livid mad at somebody i would never bring their yeah. children um into it whether they were adults or not well, but um, that's just me Think about this. <clears throat> you're you're online. You you have a platform right now, so you you could call someone's name out and their kids, and you don't know who the whole people are looking listening to you. I mean, that could potentially create harm for somebody. You, exactly. You know, it's just, exactly. It's, it's, it's irresponsible as fuck, guys. Come on now. Well, what happened to no me? Better. What he did to me was like uh, two two thousand twenty. Yeah, it was long, like, you know? it, yeah, it's a couple of years ago, 2020. And I, I feel like at the, it was over the summer. And then I, th I feel like by the end of 2020 is when that whole situation with the essay on YouTube went down and yeah. So it, it's been a while. It did. It did. Mo is correct. It's, it stopped me from ever wanting to do anything like this again this was my like streaming i never wanted to be a streamer and i didn't understand what it was but then i realized well if you're on panel with somebody and you're like a co-host that is exactly what streaming is i didn't understand it then um but after that happened i and the reason that so is he able to, is he able to like jump on this kind of shit though is he no no he's from? he's locked up Okay, gotcha. The um, so the this the deal is um, it made me never want to do anything like this again, mm -hmm. ever. But then, I when I went on um, Doctor B's panel, it's because I trusted her, and I you know she and I was and this is what I figured: either people are going to laugh and think I'm hilarious, or they're not. Either way, I'll be okay. Either I will keep doing it because people think I'm hilarious and I'll keep doing it, or they won't think I'm hilarious and I just won't do it anymore. There you go. You know it's, what I mean? It's like it, <clears throat> you gambled. You threw it and see how it went. It worked mm -hmm. out well, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I just, you know, I think everybody has had – um. A, a negative experience on social media at one point or another. But I can say this, most of my experience on social media has been good. It, the good has far outweighed any negative, although the negative was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, thank yeah, you. Mean, but, but it, it, made, it made what is going on today, right? Well, yeah. I mean, Dr. B, Dr. B. And you weren't Mo, scared away from doing what you're doing. No, no. That's, that's the good thing. They encouraged me. The girls really, 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 really encouraged me. Right. And, you that's know, cool. so, but anyway, yeah. I know your edible is kicking in. So yeah, can you tell? No, because um, uh, I just, I, I'm good at timing. And I took um, my sleepy gummy about the same time that you took your <laughs> I edible. Some pieces left. I like, I broke it up in a little bit. So. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. It, well, this is a 35 milligram. So I was like, but I know I get what you're trying to end it. I don't blame you on that. It's getting late as fuck, but I enjoy talking to you. It, I always enjoy talking to you. We're definitely going to keep, we need to do more nights like this. Yeah, I I, I, well, I'm sorry you couldn't do the um the uh, Ezra case because I because I know people showed up just for that, and I hope that like, I know, well no I, I, mean, think, I think they're cool with it. I think it just, I think it's just so. Cool. I think so. I'll I'm gonna do it tomorrow night. Um, 
so that we'll we'll make it up. I'll make it up. Absolutely. Well, thank you for having me. It was good to see everybody. It's always good to have you, Molson. Thank Callie you for said coming the up here. Border, she can tell. At least the island's <laughs> not. The edible is the island is not. There you go. There you go. All right, guys. I'll see you. All right. Bye. Good night, Molson. Man, thank you again for All right, coming. Jan, you have a good, great night. You too. All right. All right, you guys. We're totally going to get back on the uh, Ezra uh, situation tomorrow night and I'm going to have, um, everything. I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit. And so we can get to who we really want to hear, which is, uh, her adoptive dad, her, uh, Jason Bengals, and then obviously Ezra. So I'm going to work on that for you guys. And, um, I, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Thank you everybody for being here. I always enjoy it. You guys are really, really great. I, I just thanks so much for coming in and listening to me ramble for hours and hours and hours. I appreciate it. I will see you all tomorrow. Okay. Good night. You guys be good to each other. All right. Peace out.